God bless everybody. Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Super excited to join each and every one of you for this special revelatory experience that is going to catapult you, shift you, elevate you to the next and higher level. My name is Apostle Innocent Java, your favorite apostle, God's favorite apostle. Today we're going to have a special time in the Holy Ghost where God is going to pour into us more revelation, more of Him in order for us to be catapulted, shifted, lifted, and taken to the next and higher dimension. So if you are ready for this next move of God, I want you to share the broadcast. Press like, go on uh, the share button, press it, and let somebody know that we are live and God is going to move like never before. So if you have got WhatsApp platforms that you know you normally share links with, just send your, the link on your status on your WhatsApp platform. Let somebody know that we are live in Jesus' name. Amen. So quickly, drop your fire emoji in the comment section. Either you're watching us on YouTube, you're watching us on Facebook. Drop your fire emoji and let's keep it going. The hand of God is going to touch each and every one of you. And I want you to be ready for it so that you can be able to receive it in Jesus' name. So drop your fire emoji, share the broadcast. Let somebody know that we are live. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, we enjoyed our two-day prophetic conference and two-day prophetic school with our Father in the Lord, the prophet Passion Java. Woo! I don't know. The idea is incredible. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. We learned a lot about the third eye, we learned a lot about seeing the spirit and by his grace he was able to impart into people so that they can be able to function with the ability of the prophetic. You know, prophet passion is not just a prophet but is a prophet of prophets. He can make anybody a prophet. He can pray for an usher to become a prophet. He can meet up with the street urchin and he can make him a prophet. So by the Maybe grace even a dog can prophesy yeah, through the <laughs> grace of the prophet. <laughs> so whoever is watching us and you're watching us online live right now, if you, you desire the prophetic, you can still receive a prophetic impartation through information. Mm -hmm. So with the revelation that is going to pour into us today, the prophetic will rest on you and your life will never be the same. Amen. So just type, I'm ready so that I see who is ready today. Amen. I see Crystal Green is watching. Abigail is watching. Ember Johnson is watching. Kylie is watching. <laughs> Chrissy B is watching. Yolanda Rufus is watching. Keisha D. Elias, God bless you. Lena uh, <laughs> God bless everybody watching in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, YouTube is on fire. YouTube is always on fire. Amen. So, Amen. Uh, Papa, we receive. <laughs> Today is going to be deep. Yes, Papa. So we're going to be dealing with the demons. Amen. We're going to be breaking the demons of prayer. Mm. Mm. So Amen. I want people to to give an offering. Uh, Ecclesiastes says, "Bring a portion of seven or a portion of eight. That's Ecclesiastes. So I want everybody to give bit a seventy-seven or an eighty-eight, whatever you can. If you can do a triple seven or triple eight, however you can give an offering." In numbers that flows to seven or numbers that flows to eight. Our Jamai is gonna do seven seven seven. Hey, you're the first one to give. Yes, ma'am. Uh and give me my god phone from upstairs, the god one.
Ponyabo Chi is doing seven 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 triple seven. That's deep. Mm. So people can go on uh, profitpassion.com. Profitpassion.com. Yes. Do a sign profit passion on Kesha. On Kesha, yes. And um, Profit Mama T has got four or five platforms of give. Hmm. Vemo. What else? Kesha, PayPal, Zelle. Zelle. Apple Pay. Apple Pay. Google Pay. Google Pay. Google Pay. <laughs> Vemo. Vemo. Seven Six. platforms. Deep. It's deep. Our team is weak. <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> Building bones gave. Yaya gave. Sahara gave. Veronica gave. LC gave, Tracy gave, Kena, Kina, Teria gave, Al Jamal gave, Erica gave. Shell give ready yes. when you are. Yes, Papa. Um, there is a topic that you always teach us almost all the time, and you know, having the privilege to learn from you every day, you know. It So, people hearing? Yes, ma'am. Yes. It's me, I buy, buy this one. Take this one then. Because if I mute it, people don't hear. If mm -hmm. I mute it, then it echoes from here. Oh, I see. You they ask again. So, People can. Uh, Patrick bless you. Jordan bless you. Hannah bless you. Mina bless you. Gajala bless you. Tony Tony bless you. Marilyn and Patrick Hanlan. Patrick. Yes. Uh, I was asking Papa regarding intercession. Yes. Growing up, we were always taught that it's okay to pray for your pastor. Yes. It's okay to pray for somebody, anyone that we meet. 
and we were never taught that to intercede for a person that is higher than your rank, you'll be doing something that is outside jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. So you're breaking down to us three dimensions of intercession, which you mentioned, you said supplication and warfare, and you mentioned in the third one. So the first level of prayer, of intercession, mm -hmm. uh, apart from uh, what people do in the church, that one is not intercession, it's just mumbling of words. Mm -hmm. But the first level of intercession is when you supplicate, mm. a supplicator. Mm. Mm. Number two, second level of intercession is warfare, mm. when you're a warrior. Mm. And number three, it is when you are a watcher, a watchman. Mm. So these are three dimensions of intercession. Supplication, Supplication warrior, warfare. warfare. And, and watch watch him. Him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, a supplicator now, mm -hmm. he, oh, he approaches the throne of God. Wow. Mm -hmm. But a warrior approaches the throne of Satan. Oh. That's deep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's deep. Wow. <laughs> you don't approach the throne of God. To fight. <laughs> so a warrior doesn't get into the throne of God. Wow. No one can challenge God. Mm. A warrior stands in a place of challenging Satan mm. on your behalf. Mm. He's an intercessor. Mm. But a watcher approaches both. Mm. A watcher approaches the throne of God and he approaches the throne of Satan. Mm. That's a watcher. This is deep. Mm. Mm. So these are three dimensions now, levels of intercession. A supplicator now goes before God, mm. like Abraham. Mm. When a supplicator intercedes for you, you will not even know it. Mm. Mm. You will just be sitting at home. Mm. And a double is delaying to marry you. Then you just come back tomorrow and say, Ah, Johnson, I was thinking let's marry each other, June. What changed a double's mindset mm. is the supplication prayer. Okay. Mm. He doesn't lay hands on you, he doesn't talk to you, but he will pray for you. Mm. Supplication is it's a realm of begging mm. on behalf of someone. Mm. To pray actually means to beg. Mm. I pray you come to my house. I'm saying I'm begging you to come to my house. Mm. So a supplicator is a beggar mm. who will beg on your behalf. Wow. Based on two things. Relationship mm -hmm. or rank. Mm. Relationship or rank. So Abraham is an intercessor who is not a warrior. Okay. And the spirit of Abraham never fought demons. Mm. No. Mm. Number two. Abraham he had a relationship with Lot. Mm. So his supplication for Lot was based on the relationship they had. Mm. Mm. So Lot doesn't know that for him to come out of Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham begged God. Mm. He doesn't know that Abraham cooked for God mm. to touch God's heart in order to say, please preserve my guy Lord who is in Sodom and Gomorrah. He was a supplicator. Yes. So a supplicator is someone you want to have a relationship with. Because yes. they know how to touch the mind of God and they know how to change God's will. Mm. How to change God's mind. Wow. When these ones go on their knees before Yahweh, you will not even know. Wow. All you see is the results. Wow. <laughs> so you get promoted at work, you don't know that Java was praying the whole night last night. Mm. Jesus. And when you meet, he doesn't even tell you. Mm. So, Lord could he have spoke to God to save another family which was in Sodom and Gomorrah. But there was no relationship. 
-hmm. Because supplication comes with a reason. Mm. So I have no reason to say God spare Obama because, because of what? But there is a level that I say, is for me and my house. Wow. We shall save the Lord. Yes. I beg God on behalf of my family. Even if they are not of God, even if they don't have Jesus, I oh. can stand on their gift for them. Amen. That's why you understand that the children of Israel were spared by God. Because Moses was not a watcher was not a warrior. Moses was a supplicator. Mm. So he pleaded to God. God says, I want to kill all of them. I'm angry. He said, remove my name in the book of life. Why? Because a supplicator knows how to get in God's mind. Wow. Mm. He said, if you do this, remove my name in the book of life. And the Bible says, God repented. Mm. <laughs> he made God to repent. Wow. Mm. The word of God says, God is not like a man that lies or the son of man that repents of his word. But when came to, to Moses, mm. he repented. Mm. Why is God repenting? Someone knows how to penetrate his heart. Wow. Yes. Someone knows how to talk to him. Wow. So because of the relationship he had with, with the people of Israel, God spared the nation. Abraham, because of the relationship he had with Lot and his family, God spared. Mm. Noah's children did not find favor. Mm. He had this now. Mm. The children of Noah yeah. did not find favor from God. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. But they found the favor of Noah. Mm. Wow. The favor on your life is based on who is favoring you. Mm. Mm. If T.D. Jakes favors you and you start preaching for him every Sunday, mm. your life will never be the same again. True. Yeah. It's true. So what's making you inter <laughs> international yeah. is not that you're a preacher. No. Wow. You are preaching all this time. Mm. Oh my what's God. making you inter international is who he favored you. Mm. An mm. international person he favored you. Jesus. Let me give you a bad That's example powerful. so you understand what I'm saying. All prostitutes, they do the same work, mm. but they don't get the same man. Mm. Yeah. If a prostitute does prostitution with the president, mm -hmm. it's different from whoever is in the club right now. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So who is favoring you determines what you shall be. Mm. Mm. If you are favored by Elon Musk, you'll be in a private jet before end of this month. Why? Because who is favoring you? Yes. Mm. So the children of Noah, they found the favor of Noah. Therefore, they didn't die. Mm. Because of the relationship he had with his children. So good. He had no relationship with others, so they were not spared. But whoever, so you cannot supplicate outside of friendship, mm. connection, uh. relationship. Mm. That's why the Bible said something very deep. Mm. The Bible, they say, wow. a woman shall intercede for her husband who is not saved, and the husband shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. True. What's making your husband go to heaven is not that he was a Christian, but it's because of the prayers you made. Mm. You know, women know how to beg God. Mm. That's, that too. That's why the Bible that's is saying that's women, that's the that's prayers that's of a fervent woman shall save the husband mm. and bring him to inherit, mm. not to enter, to inherit. You inherit because it's not yours. Wow. This place you have in heaven is not your place. Mm. Yeah. Someone did intercede for you. Amen. That's a supplicate. Mm. It's based on friendship. Are we friends? Mm. Are you my son? Are you my daughter? Mm. Do we have a relationship? Mm. That matters. So when you go to God and say, my brother, God can hear you. Wow. You go to God, you say, my sister, my daughter, mm. my mother. Mm. The moment you speak of a relationship because of the relationship you have with God as a supplicator, it's a dandy. Mm. Jesus. So in supplication, you can talk to God on behalf of your past. Man, totally. He can be a higher rank than you. Mm. 
and you intercede for him mm. as a supplicant. Mm. You have approached God's throne God. and you are begging God. Jesus. And God will do it. Jesus. It's like someone try, comes here and tries to enter. We say, no, 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 we don't want strangers in the house. Mm -hmm. Then Tyrene says, she's my son. Mm. We say, let her come. Let him come. Mm. Why? Because of the relationship we have with Tyrene. Mm. I don't know if people understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because of the relation. So supplicators, they deal with the begging God on behalf of others based on the relationship they have with other people. Jesus. But a warrior now is not a beggar. Mm. Uh -uh. A warrior does not beg. That's why he doesn't go to the throne of God. He goes to the throne of the devil. He enters with a challenge. He enters there holding his word of fire, raising his voice, well building the spirit. Why? He's fighting a war. Mm. That now you cannot fight on behalf of someone ranger than you. Mm. Because the demons that are fighting him and the demons of your rank, mm. they are not the same. Mm. These demons will actually destroy you. Why are these demons destroying you? Because they are of higher rank than the rank you have. Mm. In the spiritual realm, you don't fight because of the muscle you have. You fight because of the rank you are on. My God. Yes. So there are levels you are not even allowed to approach. Mm. Wow. Jesus. There are dimensions you are not allowed to enter into. Why? Because your rank is not yet strong to reach to that level of a rank. So people that are zealous, they begin to challenge the demons of poverty that is on their pastors. Mm -hmm. And they will always be broke January to December. Why? Because they challenged a poverty demon mm. that is not of their rank. So there are people that are busy with the zeal and fire. I cover Benny in. Do you know the type of demons that fight with mm -hmm. Benny? Mm -hmm. If those demons come to you, will you be able to stand? Jesus. My God. Job chapter 41. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bush. I hope people are being blessed. Yes. 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 Job, bless you for your offering. Portia, bless you for your offering. Cresilda, bless you for your offering. Ah, you can approach the throne of God and ask him for anything on behalf of anybody. Mm -hmm. But you can't face Satan to mm. challenge him over what you are not qualified for. Oh my God. Yes, Job 41. Verse 1? Yeah. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with a hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? Canst thou put a hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make any supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Well, will he? Will thou take him for a servant forever? Will thou play with him as a bird, or will thou bind him for thy maidens? Shall a companion? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him amongst the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with bark irons, or his head with fish spears? Lay thine hand upon him. Remember the blood. Lay your hand upon him. Read that part. Lay thy hand upon him. Remember the battle. Do no more. Steep. Mm. Jesus. Lay your hands and? Upon him. And remember the battle. And do no more. And it do? No, no more. more. The, this chapter is telling us about a powerful demon, mm -hmm. a spirit called Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Just hear the name, mm -hmm. Levi, mm -hmm. Athan. Mm -hmm. Levi Jesus. means someone authorized mm -hmm. to enter into the Holy of Holies. Mm -hmm. yes. So yes. this demon can enter in the presence of God. Yes. God. Wow. And you are not even qualified to enter in the Hall of Holies. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. Mm. Jesus. 
That's why when Satan was cast from heaven, he was removed from there. Mm. Meaning his passport and his visa expired. Mm. So for him to enter heaven now, he has to use the form and the shape of Leviathan. Wow. Because mm. Leviathan is allowed to enter in his presence. Mm. That's why you see Nathan the prophet was killed on the pulpit. Oh my. Because this demon can attack you while you are in the presence of God. Mm. Wow. That's the demon responsible to give you thoughts while you are praying in prayer. Mm. It's a demon that causes you to start having anger issues while you are, you are praying. Mm. It makes you weak in prayer. It makes you forget what you want to pray for. Why? Because it can enter in the presence of God. Jesus. Wow. So the Bible is saying it's a powerful spirit. Don't dare to touch it. Mm. If it comes for you, remember the battle. Don't fight it again. Wow. Then you go there trying to challenge it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. There was a big witch doctor in Zimbabwe growing up. Mm -hmm. We had this zero as young boys. Mm. So when we were praying in the mountains, they also had a shrine there. Mm. Huh? We went there to challenge in the name of Jesus. Wow. Obasanjo's young brother came back flat. We carried him back home. Another girl from here, Maryland, went to India, from the Ethiopia church. She went to India, entered in those uh, temples, mm -hmm. challenged the snake god. Mm -hmm. She came out sick. The hospital said it's cancer. She came back to America two days later, she died. Mm -hmm. It's not that she does not have Jesus. She has no rank. Wow. So don't fight a demon that is not of your level. How do you defeat Leviathan? Isaiah 27 verse 1. Wow. That's really good. Isaiah 27 verse 1. In the day the Lord with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish... And that day who... The Lord hmm? will punish Leviathan. Mm. Innocent? Uh -huh. No. The Lord. Love you. No. The Lord. He could never learn. No. no. Tyrene? No. Bishop Paul? No. Mama Gan? No. It's not anyone hey. qualified for this hey. one. Hey. The Lord. Wow. It is God Himself. Uh -huh. Keep going. The Lord? Sword, With this great yes. and strong sword. Yes. Not just a sword. Yes. With this strong and great sword. Yes. Yes. Shall punish Leviathan. Uh. The piercing serpent. Leviathan is a snake. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. Even Leviathan, that cro crooked serpent. Is a crocodile. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he shall slay the dragon. He is a dragon. That is in the this is the apostolic demon of Satan. Mm. Remember, apostolic office of the devil is governed by Leviathan. Yeah. Mm. Prophetic office is governed by Jezebel. Jezebel. Yeah. Revelation 2 verse 20, she calls herself a prophetess and a teacher. Mm. Antichrist is the evangelist. Yeah. Mm. Beelzebub is the pastor. Belmont is the teacher. Jesus. This is the fivefold minister of Satan. Remember, apostles, they change offices. They can be prophetic, they can be evangelical, they can be... That's why Leviathan can become a snake and enter into the garden. My God. <laughs> he can be a dragon. He can be a crocodile. Meaning, he is a water spirit. He is a ground spirit. So if you see a snake, you say fire, fire, it becomes a crocodile and get in the water. Mm. Wow. Mm. It is a dragon of the air. Mm. So fire cannot quench it because dragons are fire creatures. Mm. So it takes God himself to attack this one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How does God fight this one? Mm -hmm. Through passions up. Mm -hmm. How? There are people in the main class. Yeah. So when you pray, God answers you as a man. Wow. When you give, God gives you back as a man. Mm. How does men give back? If I say, give me a dress, I'll give you tomorrow. Mm. 
Tomorrow I'll give him $100. Mm. But as God, a deep press down together, running over, yeah. it will be coming increased. Right? Mm. Then there are people in the angelic class. God answered them like angels. The way he deals with angels mm. is how he deals with you. Mm. When you're in the angelic class, you don't speak with the tongues of men. Mm -hmm. You speak with the tongues of angels. Jesus. You are in the angelic realm. Jesus. Right? Yeah. Yeah. When you are prophetic, you deal with people telepathic. Mm. Why? You are in the angelic. Mm. But then there are people who are in the God level. They are in the God class. When they speak, they don't speak with the tongues of men or of angels. They speak with the tongues of God. Yeah. Tongue of God the Father. Mm. Tongue of the Son. Tongue of the Holy Spirit. They are in the God class. Wow. Mm. Right? That's why Noah was able to communicate with all the animals to come into the ark. He was in the God class. Yes. If you read it, the Bible says, and God closed the ark, the door of the ark. Yeah. Yeah. God. And the Bible says, whatever door God closes, no man can open it. But when the flood was over, the Bible says, Noah opened the door. God closed it, but Noah opened it. Why? He was in the God class. This is a level where you, you have the power to forgive sins. You can actually forgive sins. That's why the Bible says, confess your sins to one another. It's not to people in the main class. They'll gossip about it. Mm. It's not people in the angelic class. Angels, they don't forgive sins. It is people that are in the God class that you should confess your sins to. Ha. It's deep. Wow. Mm. Papa, and people understand. Papa, yes. Honestly, yes. I think everyone has to double their offering. May I tripled? Because is that important? Because Papa, what you're just saying right now is the answer to what many of these people have been praying for. Mm. This revelation, many of these people don't have it. Where everyone, will they get it? They can never get it anyway. <laughs> this is an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I feel everybody has to sow a seed into this. Let them give as we are flowing. Yes, Papa. Where are we? You were explaining and talking about the, the God class and the, the main the class. The God class. Yes. So, Elijah does not need to say, Thus says the Lord, because he's in the God class. Yeah. What he says, God has spoken. Yeah. None of the words of Samuel fell to the ground unfulfilled. Why? He was a God. That's why. God says to Moses in Exodus chapter number 8, verse 1, Behold, I have made you God, capital letter G, and Aaron shall be your prophet, meaning Moses can call you. You didn't hear it. Not everyone is called by God. Some are called by Moses. Some are called by Paul. That's why Paul says, Timothy, my son, stay up the gift that I place in you. That is why fatherhood is not for everyone. It's yeah. only for the people in the God class. Yeah. You shall call no man on earth your father. Yes. Oh. But if you are a man is in the God class, he can be a father to you. Wow. Because he's God to you. Wow. <laughs> they didn't hear you. <laughs> they didn't hear you. Where are we now? God class. <laughs> Let's talk about the God class, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Galatians 1 verse 1. Amen. Cabo ah. one de Bia Santo. It's good. Ah. <laughs> this is deep. <laughs> huh. Paul, an apostle. Paul is what? An apostle. an apostle. Who is writing? Paul. Paul. Can I say passion? The prophet. When I'm the one writing. Mm. The Holy Spirit entered this man. Mm. And the Holy Spirit is writing through this man. Mm. Why? Because this man is in the God class. Mm. Oh, wow. Speak. Mm. Not of man, neither but by man. Restart again. Paul. Paul, an apostle. An apostle. Yes. Uh -huh. Not of man. Not of men. Meaning they are apostles of men. Mm. Wow. Mm. They are my apostles. Mm. They are my prophets. I wish you understand. Come on, Baba. Yes. 
Elisha is not a prophet called by God. Elisha is a prophet called by Elijah. Mm. So Paul says, I'm not an apostle by man. Uh -huh. Neither by man. Neither by the will of man. So I can will to make you a prophet and tomorrow you'll be a prophet. And God is my witness. I can will to make you a prophet and by tomorrow you'll be prophesying sharp. Better than innocent. Why? It's deep. I need God class. So people in the main class can't intercede to fight wars on my behalf. Because God fight a God. That's why the devil is a God of this air. He's a God of this world. So it takes a man in the God class to fight the devil. Not everyone can fight him. Ah, uh, this is the Papa. Wow. Sorry to, to cut you. Uh, there is an instance of what happened. I think you always taught us, teach us about this almost every time. There was a, an example you gave of a great man of God who was about to die. Yeah. And then God spoke to another man of God to warn this man of God that he's about to die. Yeah. So this man of God goes to this man of God to tell him that he's about to die. Mm. But as he's arriving there, this other man of God is telling this man of God that has been sent by God to say, if indeed it's God that sent you, I want you to cross this line and let's see if you survive. Me and you have spoken. He could not pass. He could not pass. So what the man in the main class wanted to prophesy a man in the God class. Yes. Wow. So are you saying are you saying that even oh though God. God had sent him, you are still in the main class? I almost rebuked the lady in the church yesterday. Yes. Mm. But because of Elijah, mm. I did not. How dare you stand to start saying I was prophesying people today mm. in the parking lot? This one is Kim, this one is what? Mm. 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 There are realms. Wow. That you are not even qualified mm. to open your mouth. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you understand. You are not even qualified to open your mouth. So there are people yeah. that are way gifted, yeah. mm. but not ranked. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So there are people that can actually, hey, but prophets no. But there are people that can actually heal the sick more than me. Mm. <laughs> Professor, <no. laughs> I want to be realistic. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, Professor, me, I hold myself like I feel like, hey, if I prophesy like this, then I go to Africa. Yeah. What will happen to the church? People will not come. Because yeah. I don't want people to suck on me and say, Papa is not there. We are not coming to church. Mm -hmm. So I have to do like the level we're doing this week mm. so that uh, we maintain something. Mm. But anyway, Amen. you can be gifted more than me in healing and heal people from HIV, from cancer, from sugar. Diabetes. I can't do that, but I'm saying you can do better. But it doesn't mean that you are more ranked than me. Meaning if I fall sick, you can't come and lay hands on me. Jesus. Because laying hands means you are transferring what's in you into me. Mm. And what enables a transfer is not the gift, is the rank. That is why if a satanist, a priest of Satan is sick, any child of God can lay hands on him. Because that person will be possessed by demons. Ah. My God. The satanic priestly rank is authorized to transfer to any lesser rank. Oh. So you lay hands on someone and then you become sick more than the person. Why? Demons in him comes to you. Oh. That's why you understand that the rank of the king of Israel was higher than of the seven Gehaz. Mm. So when Gehazi took an offering from the king, the leprous left the king and the leprous came upon him. Oh my Jesus. Jesus. It was because of the rank. So you can be gifted, but it doesn't mean that you are qualified in ranking. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if I answered <laughs> that. <laughs> That's powerful. Yeah. Mm. That was very...
insightful because I, I, I believe that there are people who claim that God spoke to them. You will speak for you. And they, they feel that they are entitled mm. to come and say certain things to someone who carries a rank in the spirit. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. You can actually die. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Never cross that line. Mm. Never cross that line. It's very important. Spiritual matters are very sensitive. Never cross a line. Never. That's powerful. Wow. Very powerful. Open Amos chapter number 7, verse number 14. To Amaziah, I was no prophet. I was no prophet. This guy's not born a prophet. Mm. Neither was I a prophet's son. He is not even connected to any prophet. Mm -hmm. He is tendering the sheep of his father. 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 And God called him into the prophetic. Yes, yes, yes. If I say you are called, it means you are not. Jesus, mm. wow. Jesus Christ. What? If I call you, come. He was not here. Mm. You can go. <laughs> if I call you, it means you were not here. Right. So if I call you into the prophetic, it means you were not in the prophetic. Yeah. Right. So the people that are of less rank, they are the one that says, God called me to be an apostle. Oh. Higher rank are born apostles. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Jeremiah 1 5, before I was in my mother's womb, oh. the Lord ordained me a prophet to the nations. He is born a prophet. Then Amos is called to be a prophet. Then Elisha is made to be a prophet. So they are apostles by men. And by God. And by the will of men. I know people understand. Aaron is a Levite. Exodus 4 verse 16. Aaron, your brother, is a Levite. You shall be instead a God, mm. and he shall be your prophet. Jesus. Mm. I don't know if you understand. Yes. Jesus. That's powerful. Papa, I have a question. Oh. Just a quick one. Then you, you spoke about ranks in the spirit. Yeah. How, how does one measure who is more ranked than who? Like... Mm. As for instance, she might, she might want to know her rank in the spirit. How can she know her rank in the spirit? And how can she measure a rank compared to the rank of Elijah, mm -hmm. as for instance? Like, how does one measure a rank in the spirit? Mm, it's because of the weight someone carries. Okay. Weight. You know, I'm the most simplest human being among all prophets. Yes. Mm -hmm. That you can see me and see a young boy. Mm. Or we can joke or hang around together. Mm -hmm. But if I open my mouth to speak anything spiritual, your body will vibrate. True. You will know that mm, mm, this one is sharp. Mm. <laughs> it's true. I wanted to give an example, but it's not a good one. It's true. So, it is the heaviness in the words. Mm. The yeah. It's the presence the person feels. It's the thickness, glory that is upon a person that tells you this guy is, is, is too much. Yeah. When he speaks, when she speaks, the response. Mm. Jesus is having good time with his disciples. He even qualified them and says, from now you are my friends. You know the verse. Mm. You are my disciples. Mm -hmm. Then they were qualified to be apostles. Mm. Disciples became apostles. Then he then says, you are now my friends. Mm. So they can hang out together. They can laugh. They can do stuff together. Right? Mm. Yeah. Then the storm came. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. The storm shows you who is more ranked than who. Yeah. So a rank is measured when a situation arises and how any person is able to deal with the situation at that pleasant time. 
when I open my mouth in this situation, what happens? Jesus Christ. Mm. We'll tell you this one is more angry than me. Amen. That alone will tell. <laughs> uh, people didn't pick something. Jesus. No, people didn't pick something, Papa. Mm. Because, ah, Jesus. Because there was a question. Because I picked this question in the comment section. Okay. Someone was asking this because maybe they really want to know, mm. like how do they know that they are ranked more than this person? Mm. But you just mentioned something very unique. Mm. What you say in the midst of a situation determines your rank in the spirit. So many people are going through stuff here, but we are actually checking their rank in the spirit based on how they are responding to the situation. Yes. Mm. That's deep. Yeah. Can you be told that your mother just died? two minutes before you go on stage mm. and you still go on stage mm. and prophesy the way you are going to prophesy if you are not told the news. Yeah. That rank will sustain you. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. That rank will maintain you. Mm. And you will not be emotional. Mm. But you, so let, let me tell you something. A rank is, 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 is qualified by how many times have you passed the test and the temptation. Wow. <laughs> the rank is not qualified because you're on TV. Mm. Yes. Sure. You think Joseph may be ranked than me? No. Or Apostle? Not at all. You think Justin will be ranked than this one? No. So it's not going on TV that qualifies a rank in you. Yes. It is when you speak, what will be the response? Mm. I was in Cape Town. Mm. God directed me to a house I've never been. True. I opened my mouth. Which year was it? 2017. Opened my mouth and began to speak tongues to a child that's dead. Mm. And the baby started crying. Yes. 2011, 2012, Kapungu's child died in the hospital. True. They fought with the doctors and says, my child is not dead. They called me and I spoke in tongues. I said, put the phone on loudspeaker. I spoke in tongues. The baby came back to life and the baby is still alive up to now. Wow. Hmm. Wow. It's a rank. Demons respond to ranks, not words. Mm. So the same words you will go and say, come out in the name of Jesus, is the same words apostle will say. But demons will respond to him. Why? Because demons, they know the power of a rank. Mm. That's why the demon says, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you guys? Mm. Why? In the realms of the spirit, we don't find you. That's why when Jacob asked for a blessing that he was not qualified for, the angel said, what is your name? Mm -hmm. mm. says, ah, we don't find this name. Wow. Wow. I know if you are there. Yeah. So a rank is qualified by the wars you have gone through. Wow. The warfares that you have fought. Mm -hmm. The tests you passed. Mm -hmm. The temptations. You pass. Can I go deeper? Go deeper. Do you know God? I don't know should I say this. God can ask you to lie. If you refuse, you have failed the test. You are not qualified for the rank. First Kings 22, 22, what happened? The spirit is stood before the throne of God and says, I will be a lie in the mouth of the prophets. And over 10 prophets lied to the king. They all passed the test. Then came prophet fashion and prophesied the truth. And the king said, I told you this Java, Java is complicated. When he comes, he mess up things. But he has the results. But we will not listen to him. Let's listen to 10 prophets. They went to war. What happened? They lost the war. But the point is the lying prophets passed the test by lies. 
So when the test is coming, it tests you to see if you are loyal to the law or you are loyal to God. Because when God kills, it's not murder. When God kills, it's not murder. When God lies, that lie becomes the truth. True. So many of you, you are possessed with a culture. I can't wear jeans. It's a culture we grew up in our church. So God will come and say, put on a jean. Acts chapter number 10, verse number 12, verse number 11. And saw heaven open. Okay, start from verse number 10. And he became very hungry. This is Peter becoming hungry. Let me eat now. Uh -huh. And would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. He fell in what? A trance. Why is God making him hungry? There's a next move of God. Mm. Keep reading. And he saw heaven open, and a certain vessel descending onto him, as it had been as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth, where therein were all manner of four footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creepy things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him. Rise. They forbidden animals yeah. that God says you will not eat pork. Uh. That's my pork. <laughs> God says you will not eat pork. <laughs> Don't eat this type of meat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Where did he come from? From heaven. Uh, yeah. And what did the voice say? And the voice said, Rise, Peter. Rise, Peter. Kill and eat. You are hungry, so kill and eat. Uh, Peter said, not so, Lord. God is saying, Lord, no. He's saying to God, no. Why? He's loyal to the law, not to God. Keep going. For I have never eaten anything that is common. I have never eaten things that are not allowed by the Bible. Wow. Yeah. But the author of the Bible is saying it. And you're telling the author of the Bible, no, I ain't going to eat. Why? I'm loyal to what you wrote, Jesus. not what you are saying. But through real test is passed, not by yesterday experience, not by yesterday doctrine. It's qualified and passed by what God is saying in the now. My God. God says, go and kill Isaac, your son, your only son, Isaac. Kill him. Tomorrow is about to kill. God says, don't. I am checking to see if you are loyal to me or what I said to you. Is it what I said or is it what I am saying? So people of less rank, they are holding a word. God spoke in the wilderness, people going to Egypt. Up to now, there are people worshiping God on the seventh day only. Why? They are still loyal to the word that which he said. Not what he is saying. Yeah. Keep going. This was done thrice. And the vessel Three times. The man keeps opposing God. Three times. Ah. And the vessel was received up again into heaven. Now while Peter doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen should mean, behold... The he knows the meaning, mm. but he's doubting. Yes. Where is the doubt coming from? There is a word, a law given to you in the past. What's blocking God to speak to you today is what God spoke oh. yesterday. Oh. Your battle is what he said. Ah. Ah. This is a big scene in our old church. But it is holiness in today's church. My God. Power. Thank you. Do you know that in 2050, a lot of young girls will be on their bikinis, sitting by the beach, preaching the word, doing Bible study? Wow. It's not a prophet, it's a reality. Mm. Yeah. 
It's where the world is going. But some people shall block God's movement. Yes. Yes. Saying yes. God does not work like this. Yes. Yes. Listen, the moment you say God cannot, is no longer God. Yes. 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 The moment he says he can't, he is God. He is not God. God can do all things at any time yes. with anyone he yes. wants to use. Yes. But if you say God cannot work like this, he is no longer God. Mm. Keep going. What vision which he had seen, what it should mean. Behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius had made an inquiry for Simon's house and stood at the gate. And called and asked whether Simon, which was surnamed Peter, were lodged there. While Peter thought of the vision, the spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. Arise therefore and get down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Then Peter went down to men, to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius, and said, Behold, I am who you seek. What is the cause, therefore, wherefore you have come? Mm. And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, and one that feareth God, and of good rapport among all the nations of the Jews, was warned from God by a holy angel to send for thee into his house, and to hear words of thee. Mm -hmm. Then called he them in and lodged them. And on the morrow Peter went away with them, and certain brethren from Joppa accompanied them. Mm -hmm. And the morrow after they entered into Caesarea, and Cornelius waited for them, and he had called together his kinsmen and near friends. Mm -hmm. As Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter took him up, saying, Stand up, I myself also am a man. And, and as he talked with him, he went in and found many that were, come under to, that were come together. And he said unto them, Ye know how it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company. It's unlawful mm. for a Jew to deal with Gentiles. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or come into one from another nation. Mm -hmm. But God has showed me that what I should not call any man common. But God showed me not to call any man uncomely. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Therefore, I came unto you without gain, without gain saying, and soon as I went, as, as soon as I was sent for, I asked therefore what intent ye have sent for me. Mm. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour, I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. And Cornelius, and said Cornelius, thy prayer is heard, and thy alms, and, or thy alms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa, and call hither Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tenor, by the seaside, who, when he cometh, shall speak unto thee. Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee, and thou hast well done, thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before God, to hear the things that are commanded thee of God. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, mm. but in every nation he hath feared him, and worketh righteous is accepted with him. Mm. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. Mm. That word, I say ye know, which was published throughout all of Judea, and began from Galilee after the baptism of John, which John preached. Mm. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were opposed of the devil, for God was with him. And we were, we were witnesses, we are witnesses of all these which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and shewed him openly, not to all the people, but unto the witnesses chosen before of God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people 
and to testify that it is he which is ordained of God to be the judge of qu the quick and dead. Mm -hmm. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whoever believe in his name shall receive remissions of sins. Mm -hmm. While Peter yet spoke these words, the Holy Ghost fell. When upon Peter him. is speaking, mm -hmm. not Peter laying hands on them, mm -hmm. Peter speaking, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost fell upon, fell upon them. Mm -hmm. And they, and they of the circumcisions which believed were astonished. And as many came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. for they heard him speak with tongues and magnified God. Then Peter answered, "Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as?" as well as we and the, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord then prayed they he to tarry certain days you said the problem of it you still want to go back to the baptism of what mm. yeah. when people have been baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire his problem was the past God had given him Gentiles but his mind could not accept it because he have been planted in a place of believing the whole of holies, the inner court of the Jews, the outer court of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So he cannot mix the outer court and the inner court. He doesn't know Jesus died on the cross, the move has changed. Yeah. Because he doubted the move of God yeah. and could not lay hands on them, no. he was less ranked. Because when you fail a test, you are demoted. Mm. Mm. So God yeah. raised who? He raised Paul oh. for the Gentiles. Jesus. Oh. That's why Peter continued baptizing with water, yeah. but Paul started baptizing with the Holy Spirit and fire. Wow. Jesus. Because mm. Peter was supposed to do this, wow. but he was disqualified because he could not pass the test. By reason of the doctrine which was placed in him. The mm. only way you can grow in a rank and learn yourself yes. mm. to learn what you have never learned. Yes. Yes. Men shall not live by bread alone, yes. mm -hmm. but by every word that cometh from the mouth of God. Yes. Bread is word which he spoke, mm. yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. but the prophecy is the word which he is speaking. Yes. Mm. So Paul accepted mm. and he ran with the call for the Gentiles. Mm. But Peter failed. Mm. That's why it is now Paul coming in church to rebuke Peter. Mm. But mm. Peter was an apostle before Paul. Right. Mm. Peter was anointed and given keys of the church. Yeah. But when Paul passed the test, he was higher ranked than him. So there are people that are being demoted while his others are being promoted. True. Wow. Where are we? Wow. Supplicators. Mm. Yeah, they approach the throne of God. Of God mm. Right? Yeah. Warriors. Wow. They approach the throne of Satan. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. And watch us. Watch us. They approach both. The throne of God. The throne of Satan. That's why there were three W's. The warrior, mm -hmm. Michael. The waiter, Gabriel. The worshiper, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Supplicator approaches the throne of God, mm -hmm. Gabriel. I am Gabriel, the one that stands in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. wow. In fact, I made a mistake. The supplicator is, uh, is uh, Lucifer, who was approaching the throne of God. Yes. And warrior, 
Michael was waiting for a devil to manifest so he can face the throne of Satan. And Gabriel approaches both. That's why he went and met God and was given an answer for Daniel. Yeah. Then he met the prince of Persia and fought with him for 20 days. Yeah. So watch us now. They watch what is happening in the throne of God, in the throne room of Satan, and they deal with the two, both thrones. So when it comes to intercession, supplicators supplicates for people according to the relationship that they have with the people. All right? But then warriors, they fight, even for people they don't know. It's a calling in the assignment. But they cannot fight for anyone higher ranked than them. They fight for their rank and lesser rank than them. That's why it's bad for you to follow any past. Other pastors are not even a rank. So they can't fight a war for you. They can supplicate for you because they know how to approach the throne of God. But when it comes to the demon that is coming after you, they cannot challenge it. They cannot stand on the gap to fight it for you. So you need to know who are you following. So these are three realms of intercession. Supplication, warfare, watching. That's why Jesus, when he was trying to qualify the disciples into the realm of being a watchman since he's leaving the church, they could not. And he said to them, how can you not at least pray an hour? They failed. He said, they pray and watch. Yeah. Watch as they look into what to pray for. They don't just pray. They look into what is happening in the camp of the enemy. My God. What is happening on the throne of God. They pray from what they know. So in the Bible, Abraham was a supplicator. But the poor was a warrior. That's why Paul took some of the church members and he put them in the hands of who? The devil. Of Satan. But Daniel was a watcher. Daniel was a watcher. So supplicators now, they deal with the sons of God. They are angels called the sons of God. Read uh, Job chapter number one. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. Now there was a day when the sons of God came. To, when who? The sons of God. Came to? To, to present to themselves before the Lord. They approach the throne of God. Oh. Supplicators they do with the angels called the sons of God. Mm. Wow. These angels mm. have got flesh. Jesus. Read Genesis chapter number 6 yeah. from verse 1. These angels, they have flesh. Why do they have flesh? They need to feel hungry. So that when someone is supplicating, they know exactly what's being said. When someone cannot worship God because of lust, they know what is lust. God doesn't know all this. God doesn't understand when you say, I don't have money for rent. But Jesus do. Why? Because Jesus ascended with his flesh and blood. Yeah. Mm. He lived on earth. He knows the sufferings that we go through as humans. Yeah. Right. He understands why God will speak to you and you will disobey him. Mm. Because him in the garden of Gethsemane, he almost lost the cross. Yeah. Until he said, let your will be done, not mine. Mine mm. I'm failing. Right. So he knows the struggle that comes with the flesh. Yeah. Sons of men. You, Sons of God. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face Genesis of earth, 6, Genesis. men are multiplying on earth. Yeah. And daughters were born unto them. And some girls are born there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. two, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. These angels called sons of God, they saw the beauty. Mm. They saw the nyan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they took them wives of all 
they choose. And they started having sex with these girls. Yeah. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men. And God saw that there was evil on earth. For that he also is flesh. Mm. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after They that. gave birth to giants. So they understand the sexual world. Wow. But God the Father doesn't understand mm -hmm. why you can't stop masturbation. Mm -hmm. God the Father understands. He doesn't understand why one woman have got 20 toys in the bedroom. It's confusing to God the Father. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus understands. The sons of God, they understand. That's why not all angels can report to God. The sons of God are the ones that go to the throne and begin to supplicate. We understand him. We understand this guy. We know the struggle he's going through. God, preserve him. Because they also are flesh. So supplicators, they deal with angels called the sons of God. Mm. Then warriors, right? Yeah. Read Revelation 12, verse number 7. And there was a war in heaven. There is a war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Michael and his angels. Fought against the dragon. Where, where did they attack the dragon? Yeah. Read uh, Isaiah 14. From verse number 12 going down. Verse 12 says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O mm. Lucifer? You fell from where? Heaven. Uh -huh. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Mm -hmm. For thou hast said in thine heart. What did he say? In thy heart he said, I will ascend into heaven. Uh -huh. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Jesus. So Michael, angel of war, yeah. approached the Lucifer at his throne. Mm -hmm. If Lucifer did not want to put a throne, Michael was not going to approach him. Wow. Mm -hmm. Angels of war... They come after the throne of Satan. Mm. Yeah. They believe in one throne, the throne of God the Father. Mm. Wow. Any other thrones that are to be built, they come to fight them. Mm. Wow. So anytime a devil comes on a place, the devil will put a throne in you. So pride can sit. Lust can sit. Oh so God. when Michael comes now, <laughs> He is not challenging you. He is challenging the throne which the devil placed in you. Mm. Go back to Revelation 2 verse 7. Wow. That's deep. Revelation 12 verse 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought. And Michael and what? His angels. Michael and what? His angels. Michael and his angels. These angels, they don't see God. They don't report to God. They report to Michael. Wow. They are his angels. So warriors now, they connect with these angels. Mm. Mm. Not every warrior connects with angel Michael because some of you, your rank does not qualify you to approach angel Michael. Wow. Mm. But there are angels under him and there are angels under them. There are angels under those and there are angels under those. I don't know if you are there. Wow. Yes. So according to your rank, God gives you angels of war. Mm. But if you are a watcher, mm -hmm. God will connect you with angels like Angel Gabriel mm. and angels called watchers. Mm. Daniel 4, verse number 13. Verse 
he said. The dream, this dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now thou, O Be Belshazzar, <laughs> Belshazzar, that one, <laughs> declared the interpretation thereof. For as much as all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation, but thou art able, for the spirit of the holy gods is in thee. And Daniel, whose name was Belshazzar, was anointed for one hour, and his thoughts trembled him. Troubled him. The king spake. Oh, where, where are you? Daniel 4, 18. Daniel 4, 18. 1, I saw the visions of upon my head, on my bed, and behold, a watcher and a holy one came down from heaven. So these are two types of angels that mm -hmm. Daniel saw through the visions of his head, the third eye. He saw the holy ones, mm. and he saw the watchers. Mm -hmm. These angels called watchers are those that deal with the watchmen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel says, the Lord says, I looked for a man mm -hmm. that could stand on the gap, and I found none. Why? No one connected with angels called the watchers. Mm. Wow. Mm. So watchmen connect with this type of angels called watchers. Mm. Wow. They fall under angel Gabriel. Mm. They watch both hell and heaven. The throne of Satan, the throne of God. Mm. They stand on the gate. So when you are too anointed, God doesn't give you warriors or supplicators. Mm. He gives you watchers. Because watchers, they are on both realms. They cover you on both. They supplicate and they fight for you at the same time. Wow. Any question? Wow. Questions? Mm. Okay, so how then can we identify which one we want to fight on? Which, which, category? which category? I will tell you when time comes. <laughs> when you are qualified. Amen. Yes. Ask. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. How the, she seemed like a big, the tall guy on your, on your dresser, the dark angel. Oh, yeah, I can ask that. Oh, she has a question. <laughs> ah. um, when I was asleep at home, um, I was tapped on my leg, and when I woke up, well, I was laying there, when I was tapped on my leg, I looked up and it was a tall black, he had a bigger body like a man, but he had wings, and he also had arms, and he was like this color. And Which one? This color. Black. And he was tall, and he was tall where he had to, I knew he had to fit in my room. I knew he couldn't, that wasn't his height, I knew he was taller, but he mm. fit in my room. And I woke, uh, looked at him, I told him, I said, get out. I didn't, I didn't feel him anymore. So he, he went downstairs and sat on my chair downstairs. And my daughter just happened to get up in the middle of the night to get some water. And she saw him sitting there, but I didn't know until the next morning. He was sitting there, and she said he was pushing my Bible off the, off the table. And she went over there and caught it and pushed it back up. But she was trying to ignore the fact that she saw him sitting there. But she saw him because she told me the next morning and described the same things I saw. So I always wondered. What was that? Well, the girl I was prophesying in church, I was just not uh, uh, in the mood of prophecy today, I had no energy. But uh, the girl I prophesied about here being in the car and hearing gun -dun -gun -dun -gun -dun -gun -dun -dun uh, the spirit she saw is not a demon, it's not a witch, it's an angel called a watcher. That angel was watching over her, and watchers are the custody of revelation as well. So the angel was revealing to her the powers of witchcraft that was attacking her. Mm -hmm. So she mixed the ngundungundu and what was around her. Oh. Mm -hmm. That angel was actually is the one revealing to you, to her. So that is the angel God gave you. That was in 2013 maybe, mm -hmm. and I, and I, that's 
In fact, God is telling me that you, this angel came to you first time in 2001. The first time this angel came to you was in 2001. And you were asleep. And you dreamt of someone, you know, a man tall and dark in complexion. And you actually thought it was a man. But it wasn't a man. Wasn't it real? It was a dream? Because I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was a, an angel. And that angel is called Luca L. And that angel is actually standing there. God, God will give you grace to see this angel and to relate with this angel. And it always comes to you many a times. So God will give you the ability to meditate and you'll be able to connect with this angel. It's called Lukael. Mm. Uh, warriors Watch us. Supplicates. They are all different. The angels of supplication, they wear st stones. Jesus. Their clothes are stones. Ezekiel 28, verse number 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and Try down. 13. 13. Mm. Oh. Thou hast been and eaten the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. He was garden. covered by what? Every precious stone. Every precious stone. The garment of God also have got stones. And the garment of the high priest, uh, Aaron, he had to of stones. Mm. So this is the apparel of the angels of supplication. Then read Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm. but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watch this you. is the dress code of a warrior. Mm. Wow. From verse 18. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, yeah. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have you done all to stand. That armor. Say one. It's a different teaching. I'll give you an example. Mm. Having been guided on your loins, the belt of what? Truth. The belt of truth. Of truth. Mm. When you're fighting against lust, you don't need love. Because you can love or at least you are lasting at the same time. Jesus. Jesus. So love does not stop you from lasting. Oh, yeah. What stops you from last is truth. Jesus. Masturbation is in the world of lies. Oh. <coughs> what you are seeing there is a lie. Oh, my God. Beyonce is not sleeping with you. <laughs> but we can actually see beyond the sleeping with you. So it is the truth now that you need on your loins. 
to defeat the demon of lust. Wow. But it's a different topic. But watch us now the way black, all black apparel. Watch us the move in the realm of faith. Warriors, they move in the realm of peace. That's why after every war comes what? Peace. peace. But it's the ones for supplications, they operate in the realm of love. That's why you cannot supplicate for someone you don't love. Someone you don't have a relationship with. It's the realm of love. Any questions? This man. Question. Scuba deep die. Submarine deep. Any questions, guys? We are done then. Yes. Should you do? What dimension? I know you should pray, but what dimension? You need to supplicate. <coughs> so you were saying to increase your rank, you go, you carry more weight, you go through more battles. Hmm. Uh, what are some of the ways to uh, increase your rank with uh, giving? Giving to you. So that's Which is also a fight. It's a fight. <laughs> uh, it's a fight. Do you know that year, maybe Apostle was going to prophesy because I saw an angel touching you on your shoulders. Do you know that year, I'm not saying it for people to give, but do you know that the year there are five people God instructed to give a seed? I'm one of them. Huh? I'm one of them. How can you give? How much you give? Me. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a number that I saw on five people giving. Yes, mm -hmm. But I don't want people to do it because I said it. But I wanted to show you that it is a war to give. Mm -hmm. It is a fight to give. Love offering is okay. Free will offering is okay. But a sacrifice comes through warfare. <coughs> it's a fight to give and what fights you is not what you are left with or what you have what fights you is what you are giving mm -hmm. so if you are giving a dollar a dollar has no power to fight you but the moment the preacher said give 1000 the fight starts <laughs> give 10,000 the battle is more so you want you change you it's a it's a war. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh was in was in the double portion where I saw many people. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, you know I did this before. I don't need the easy cards and stuff. I gave. I was wearing a suit. You know those uh, innocent today's suits? I used to wear them. Where you put the one jacket inside, the small jacket, and a bigger jacket on top, and pants and stuff. <laughs> the preacher, they preach, preach, preach. I ran, I removed my shoes, I gave. Ha, ah, it's too much. I ran with my jacket, I gave. I removed the other inner jacket, I gave. Tie, I gave. Socks, I gave. I had a shirt inside, I removed the pants, I gave. <laughs> I had a vest inside. What do Americans call a vest here? Yeah, the one, white, white. it's just like, huh? Oh. Oh. It's a singlet. We call it a singlet. 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 Or a shirt. Singlet. Or a shirt. That one uh, with no hands and stuff. Yeah. What is that? White beater. White beater, yeah, 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 yeah. White beater. Whatever name. 
I ate that one. So I removed the shirt again. So I was left with the doubt in that. I want to give, I feel like if I remove her, I can't be going home like this. <laughs> so I had a wallet, my ID, everything was there. I didn't have a bank account by that time. I ran on the pulpit. <laughs> Phone, SIM card, everything. I didn't even like delete pictures and stuff. Jesus. It's a realm of giving. So it's a, it's a warfare that qualifies you. You go through it. Yes? Um, I want to ask a question. When you were talking about Peter and him um, resisting God because he was following the law, um, I'm getting into one of my dreams, and you can look into it, the one with three people in a car. Mm. At first I thought it was... You take me a dream. This one? No, another one where there were three people in a car. Uh. I thought it was not God, initially. And then uh, I really had to meditate on it. So you had a dream. Right. And when you had a dream... There were three people in a, in a vehicle. And you didn't, you didn't text me that one? But there's one you text me, I wrote the interpretation on the side. Okay. I fell asleep. Right. <laughs> I have it, I'll send it to you. I have it somewhere. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So this other one was... Three yeah, this dream now. Uh -huh. It was three people in a vehicle. I'm not going to describe it. It was quite um, graphic. And I believe it was from God. But at first I thought it was not. So it was three people in a car. In the front. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe the dream was talking about intimacy with the three persons of God. God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, God the Father. God in the dream or you are the one interpreting now? No, no, don't tell the interpretation. <laughs> tell the, tell the dream. So, um, I already sent you interpretation of those two dreams you text before. Can I whisper it to a pastor? Sorry? Can I whisper it to a pastor? Or we are like? Yeah, yeah, we are like whisper to a pastor. It's fine. Come. Okay, thank you. Or you can whisper from there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's deep. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. For each dimension, is there two women and one guy in each dimension? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was uh, trying to interpret hmm? the... Do you see the <laughs> Yeah, I understand. Do you see? Yeah. Baba? Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I see the same. But now I can't do it in the second one. I saw it. Yeah, it's deep. Oh, we interpret. Yes. Material. Sorry? For each dimension? For each dimension? Is there the same number of realms within each dimension? Yeah. Uh, levels don't have dimensions, but dimensions have levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a level, you are just stuck there. But if you're in a dimension, you be in different levels in one dimension. That's why John the, Bab John the Revelator is in the spirit. And God is showing him great things. Then the angel said, come up here. What you're about to see now, no man is permitted. He's not in the God class. Because man is not allowed to see what he's about to see. He says, this, do not write it down. So there are levels in a dimension. Let's go with you. She was whispering. And <laughs> so people say. So people. So people are laughing and saying. <laughs> uh. 
Energy is the guy. Hey, Adabla. You know how to trim on life? Yes. Okay, you remove that part. <laughs> no, it's fine. Ah, it, it, was, it was good. Ah, it's a dream. It's a dream. Why are the people rewinding now? <laughs> people in the comment section is delivering. <laughs> Ah, you are deep. You are deep. Come and see the message I, I texted. There's a message I texted you, I think, in the morning. Was. This one. Ah, you are deep. You are prophetic. This is you, right? And Bishop. Yeah. Mm. I had a minister about the five people I saw mm -hmm. giving a seed. Mm -hmm. And don't already text the amount. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know if you spoke with the Don. No, I didn't. You did same amount, Bishop, same amount. <laughs> My husband in California texted me. It's your husband that texted you yes. in California? Yes. About the same amount, then the same amount, same amount. My children. <laughs> deep. And I said, how many people? That's deep. Five should give. Mm -hmm. I said, of what? One K. One K. And you did 1K, 1K, 1K. It's deep. This it's week. Good. This week. I don't know how many times. Ah, it's like you have ate mustard. I mean the prophetic. Ah, California will be blessed when you go back. Oh, I receive. How are yeah. you, Bill? Do, in fact, do you have prophetic class when you go back? Yes. Select so like few people. Let the small station, maybe five, five, five. Only triple five. Okay. Other people come on the last day. Like on Zoom. Okay, mm. we'll do that. I prophesy them deep. Amen. Five, five, five. Must Look at them, they're already raising their hand to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta yeah, if they're them. wise, they should say, do it to choose. Yes. Do it? Choose. Tuesday. Well, at least the fire is still burning. Okay, burning. Time, Tuesday. Okay. May so Kinda, da. Are you announcing it in the group? Only a few people. Five, five, five. Uh. Tuesday. Me, when I see my father. I come here and throw a conference. Yeah. Yeah. When I came out, I went to North Carolina. Wow. Yeah. I was sick. The moment I finished being sick, I said, this week, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Love is coming. We're doing something. Yeah, yeah. And it was powerful. Yeah. Mm. When you see your father, the fire is deep. Then grandfather. Keep it then burning. Keep it's it. deep. Keep it burning. Mm. Wow. So, in fact, I'm going to give you the mic. You... And apostle, you're going to deal with the people that are going to give, and you're going to bless the people. Zalama Lebe, maybe you prophesy. Bless the way that they. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. 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 Thank I received this grace. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, praise God. So, Papa. Papa. Um, before... I don't know what happened. Papa was sitting here, and within my spirit, the angel of the Lord just said, sow a seed of 555. Five, five. So I, I sowed the seed. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And after 20 minutes, mm -hmm. I heard a voice again, so another 555. Five, five. <laughs> I saw it again. Mm. Then after 20 minutes, it said, so 5555. Five, five, five. I saw it again. Yeah. That's why you saw me, I was just doing this. Right, right. Yeah. Why? Because there is something that was happening in the atmosphere. Yes, yes. And such type of atmospheres like this, mm -hmm. it's rare. It is, very. Especially if you have an opportunity with our Father and the Lord and His teaching, is pouring such depth into us. There is something that will be taking place in the atmosphere. Absolutely. And it's impossible for one not to partake of such grace. It's impossible. You cannot allow this one to pass you by. Mm -hmm. And the woman of God did it. The bishop did it. Yeah, we were texting. The woman of God, you see, it's so prophetic. It's <laughs> just, I don't know, it's just so prophetic. They have to. You know, so I want those five people to step in and sow their seed of 1,000. And as you do so, we are going to pray and declare a word over your lives. Mm -hmm. And you are going to experience what the What happened? It's crazy. Hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was confused. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the law says, look around you. Mm. So I saw one, two, three, four, All my children. Five, All, my, six, seven, All, my, eight, All my children. And you are the ninth one that I referred to. Mm. Yes. And number nine is the number of wearing black. Mm. But you are all wearing black. Uh -huh. So the Lord says, it's a realm of faith and the realm of watchers. Wow. Yes. Watchers, they were black. Ooh. So people have been bent into the realm of watchers. Jesus. Yes. We yes. receive. Yes. Mm. Mm. And Amen. And talks about beware of the wolves mm. for the little foxes. Yes. For they destroy the divine. divine. And if you check here. Oh, it's closer. It's deep. Grandson, you detect. We're being baptized in the realm of, say it again, watchers. Look. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. Oh, my wow. God. Oh. Wow. 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 <laughs> Beware of little foxes, they destroy the whole vine. So it takes the watchers to watch over the vine. Mm. And nine of you surrounding, all wearing black, yes. which is a color of watchers. Mm. And nine is a, is a number of giving birth. So nine people have been birthed. Wow. Actually, Papa, I feel in my spirit that those nine people are the ones that are supposed to give 1,000 each because they are going to tap into a dimension of watchers. She was asking, how do you know that you are a watcher or you are a supplicator or you are the other one? This is just a confirmation that you have been nominated as watchers. So tapping into this dimension... And everyone who is wearing black is part of them. It's part of them. Watch. Watch. Shina Hanlan, watch. Adabla, watch. I think that's why everyone is wearing a black mask. <laughs> that's deep. But so, this one gave me a watch. Let her stand watch there in front. Oh my God. Let her watch there. And someone open uh, Daniel 4.13. Let her watch there stand there. If she can. Before you read, let us stand. <laughs> that girl. Okay, wait. You can eat that. Yeah, yeah eat that. It's eat not that. going to the church, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? The, the, the watch. Who gave you the watch? Oh, okay. Let us stand there. Sorry? It's prophetic that you are standing there. Mm. Read Daniel 4, verse 13. I saw in the vision of my head upon my bed, and behold, 
A watcher. A what? A watcher. What does the watchers wear? Black. 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 And she has black. And what? And a holy one. Holy ones wear what? White. 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 Jesus. And watch us, they approach how many thrones? That's why she has those C, one pointing that side, another C pointing that side. Yeah. On the judge. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. I don't know if people can see it. C. C going this way. Oh my God. Wow. It's done. Amen. It's a realm. you gave and you are watching us online I want you to type Dan or Papa can help us to know who gave uh, if you gave notify us so that we'll be able to speak into your life we want to be just a blessing so quickly notify us and just type Dan and it will be a special blessing to each and every one Amen. 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 quickly yes woman of God Amen. Oh, no. I'm just <laughs> I'm in agreement. Yes. Mm. Amen. You didn't give. You give. <laughs> Everyone is just typing dun 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 dun. <laughs> Yes, Papa. <laughs> you want to say something? No, go, deep. go ahead. Wait. Go deep. He said, small Papa. Oh, we're ready. She said, you have to prophesy to my children. I can't practice it. I know, I know, I know. And know. Yes. Papa, not the leader. And there. Oh, you gave? We both gave one thing. And this one. Oh, Amen. So I begin. Mm -hmm. If if you are Leroy, uh, can I see where you are watching from? Can you guys help me check where Leroy is? If it's Facebook or if it's YouTube. <laughs> Danielle? Danielle, which one? There's so many. <laughs> um, that one in the back, right there. This, right here. My daughters, all my kids. Just all my kids wave. This one, this one, those, these ones right here. This one. This one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know why I'm not able to scale Why? I took Skylar to Africa, we are flying, right? Right. And she's in the coast. Then I've graded it, right? So I'm thinking she's going to come in the business and say, Ah, thank you, Papa. Thank you. I never, I don't believe this is real when it's happening. You know what she said? What? I knew. <laughs> <laughs> She extended her flight this morning and stayed in during service. She went back so she could get to work in the morning. Mm. But she did extend it. Hmm? Yeah, she was. And then she stayed and she helped me because she was supposed to leave this morning at like nine or something, eight or nine. Bishop, come. <clears throat> come, Bishop. This is my hand. <laughs> Mm. 
Bishop was covering his head. The Bible says, I'll cover the head of the seer. It's a realm of seeing the Lord is putting you into as a watch. A watchman in the realms of the spirit. But what is he watching? He has a watch shoe. Here, yeah, it's a watch shoe. Ah, of course. The beard shaped like the watch shoe. Mm-hmm. And the watch is represent what? Spiritual warfare. Yeah. That's why they used watches during war. Mm. So God is making a watchman who's going to watch in the realm of warfare. Amen. And you fight old battles. That's why it's not only black on the beard. There's also white. Mm. White speaks of ancient. Mm. So there are battles, wars from the ancient spirit, ancient covenants, ancient altars. God will make you stand on the gap to watch and pray. What is he going to be breaking on this ancient warfare? And what's the reason of fighting a war that happened thousand years ago? It's because what will be affecting people today will be words. That's why your hand is written mm, right all over it. Right hand. <laughs> both, both of them. <laughs> so God is going to use you to rub the end writings of our ancestors mm. that were not in the right standing with God. Jesus. But after you come to that place, after the victory, God shall begin to whisper prosperity. That's why you have got golden stars. Mm. And everything you shall touch shall tend to become gold. Amen. So both hands have got God. Why? Because God is about to bless the works of your hands. Amen. And after you break those altars and the rub words spoken, you shall bring a new covenant. Mm, That's why you are wearing a gold ring. Amen. Because the ring represents covenant. Yes. That's why when someone marries and they put a ring, they make a covenant and seal it with a ring. So God is going to bring forth a covenant between you and him. That will lodge people from breaking them out of ancient bondages into a new covenant in Christ. Mm. A new covenant in Christ. Mm. And Thank now you, you are sitting there on a carpet, mm. on a carpet, mm. meaning God is giving you a ministry of love, Jesus. Oh, because Jesus. car represents ministry, mm. and yes. it is only people of love that have got pets, oh, 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 oh. carpet, wow. <laughs> 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 he, said, he said, say it one more time, so you're sitting on a carpet, yes, and the carpet is the coming of two words, car and pet. Car and pet. Car represents what? Ministry. ministry. And it's only people of love that they've got pets. Okay. So it's a ministry of love. Ministry of love. <laughs> <laughs> and he loves his pets. I was just opening for these guys to interpret for the people. I don't do it. Just finish them, Papa. No, I flow. <laughs> Don't think. Don't think. I'm at the floor. I just, when I looked over at um, the two of you, and I just happened, I caught your feet first, and I heard the scripture, uh, remove your feet, your shoes. 
for the place, place where your city is, is holy ground. And the Lord said that this, this weekend, you coming, that you feel like you've been like baptized into something brand new. And that, that, that like I saw a different dimension of just understanding of your, your purpose, your destiny, and where you're going. And I even saw God showing you where you'll be connecting and what you'll be doing to get to the next level. But this has been a sealed time. Even you've given, 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 given. Even when you thought you weren't giving anymore, I saw you then messaging, talking to your husband. It's like you guys messaged or something about, can, is it okay to give this or something? I don't know, something like that. And you gave again and you gave again. But then you knew that this is a time and a season of elevation. And he said, this elevation has been a commissioning towards your purpose and your future. And I saw just as he gave Moses direction and he trained him and I saw Moses taking his hand and putting it in and putting it out. God was training him in miracles, training him in signs, throw your staff down before he couldn't do that. But now he's throwing it down and he's seeing the difference, the power that you two will walk in and the activation that has taken place over this weekend, that people will see that you have been with God, that he walks with you. When, when, you, when you spoke about Moses. Before you go to that one, mm -hmm. I saw Grinson holding camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> camera now is camel era. Mm -hmm. Mm. Camel. Yes. And the camel speaks of the longevity of the destiny you're moving in. Chai. That's why when people were moving in the desert, they used camels. Camels. Mm. So I don't know in which area, but you need to focus more and change it. That's why you are wearing black. Mm. Because God wants you to watch over where you want to go, your destiny. My God. But there's an error somewhere. Mm. That's why it's not complete black. It's now going to gray. Mm. The black is being mixed with white. Mm. My God. What is holiness? White is holiness. Yeah. Black is faith. What is holiness? Holiness it has nothing to do with sin. Yes. But holiness simply means to be in the right standing of your calling. Yeah. That's why some, some have said, bid me not to sin by not praying for Israel. Why? Because praying for Israel was his assignment. Yes. So you can be holy with a blame. Why? Because you are fulfilling your assignment. That means you are holy. Yeah. Then smoking can be a blame. Anything else can be a blame. So God is giving you grace to look into your future and fix the error before anything takes place. Mm. I didn't want to forget that. <laughs> when, you were, when, you were, when you were speaking, Grandpa, and I looked at the pants, I looked at, my, I looked up at his hat. Yeah. And... Literally, you see the, the, the rainbow, which represents the nations, only happens in his hat when he gets into all black. And there's a pyramid of the third eye on his Yes. Uh, yes. God is it was, your your, as a watcher. As a watcher to the nations. <laughs> the rainbow represents n nations. To, you're going, it's, you know, that third eye opening up will allow you to actually begin to go to the nations in the direction will be clear from there. Prophet said this one. Which one? Yeah, you were saying something oh. about this. Yourself. Moses, Moses, where you are standing, remove your shoes for the place where you are standing. It's a holy ground. It's a holy ground. Mm. With the interpretation I'm getting, Baba. Ah. Okay. I wouldn't want to go deep. Meditation. But Moses always walked with a rod. Mm wherever he was going. And at this point, he's standing in front of a fire, burning bush. But at this point, but he's standing, but he's not being consumed. Mm -hmm. But as I'm looking at him, oh, Jesus, Moses is standing in front of the burning bush with a rod, right? Mm -hmm. And I am seeing this guy on fire. <laughs> but it's a different type of fire. But it's a different type of fire. You go deeper after life, one-on-one -on -one with them. Mm -hmm. Because it's a fire in the bedroom. By something about the road. So you. <laughs> so you talk to both of you. There's a benefit. <laughs> but though I see the benefit, why oh, you no know, switch? 
bad door is there's a burning fire. The issue with the rod. <laughs> Once you threw it on the ground, it became a snake. So you go deeper. This one we need the private one more. It's done. Jake. It's deep. Uh, I, I saw the rod, but I didn't see that part. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. Ah, this show did not give now. Are you going to end up with? <laughs> Professor. Professor. When I looked at his hair, mm. and the way his hair is, it's mm. not mainly the way his hair is normally. Mm. Because the last time I saw him, he had a nice hairstyle. And the last time I saw him, he had a nice gel on his head. But looking on the way his head is, it means that there is a lot going on with his mind. <laughs> there is a lot going on in his mind at this point. It's like a lot is happening and there is no order in his head. It's like in terms of decision-wise on what Let to do. Let me say something, then continue. I gave you an instruction. There is an assignment in front of you. A work God has for you. Don't let anything disconnect your focus on your assignment. Because once you're in your assignment, whatever in front of you, you're not going to go for it. Everything will come for you. Yeah. So, d delete that number. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. You will thank me very soon. Sure. You yeah. will come and tell people I owe Papa for the rest of my life. Mm. Amen. That's good. And when I look at the gray suit, a gray is a mixture of two colors, white and black, which mm -hmm. resembles confusion. There is an area of his life that is not clear, that there is a, a bit of a confusion. But because of the white he's wearing inside, mm. God is now installing peace in him. Oh, that area that has been giving him confusion, God is going to give him peace. Amen. And I'm looking now on the wristwatch that he's wearing, that carries a pink color, right? The peace that you shall receive shall, de shall birth a prophetic mantle mm. and a prophetic gift in you. Because I've been seeing you, I've been having a lot of dreams, visions of people, events, issues, situations. But that prophetic gift, the Lord is saying, it's now time for it to manifest. Because it's a watch and he's saying it's now time for it to manifest. Mm -hmm. And the, the Lord is saying, it's only a matter of time. This year before the year ends, you shall be unlocked spiritually for greater works, not only for America, but for India. Hey, wow. come on, Amen. come on. Amen. 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 Do that. <laughs> I, I just have a question. Did you move here from somewhere? No. Nope. You lived. You lived in this area yeah. in in Maryland. DC. DC. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one went and changed to a black. <laughs> oh, black. <laughs> From face, sub zero black. <laughs> but she is wearing yellow now. It's innocent. She went to wear black, all black, but she's still wearing yellow. Yellow is a, is a color of healing. Healing. Which means there is a special area of her life, a part which is hidden, mm. that she cannot share with anybody, mm. that she needs healing. Mm. And it's the issue of the heart, that's is why the, there's a reading of the red. Yes, Papa. Keep going. Yes. <laughs> On her. Mm. Yeah, there's a special area. That's now, where the mouth is shut. That's where the mouth is shut, because she can't say it to anyone. Mm. Oh. She has to remain, she has to keep it to herself. Mm. And even to say to anyone, even to anyone, she can't say it. Mm. So she's drinking from that yellow cup. Mm. As she's today. Huh? Meaning today her healing is come. Her healing is actually being notified. Mm. Actually, there is 
good news that is luring around her. Mm. It's like Amen. there's a news that she had that's mm. too exciting. That has excited her. She they talk to me. Ah, Papa. I don't know you. <laughs> she they talk to me. I don't think your mama doesn't know. Uh, what I just told you? Yeah. I've said. I've said. It's deep. It's deep. It's deep. Come. So God is healing the past because of the present. Because of the present. So there is a present that just came. Ah, present. The present. There is, there is an issue that she can't talk about, but it's connected to the issue the of the issue heart. The issue made her suffer because brown is the color of what? Of suffering. Oh, of suffering. Yes. Mm. So there is an issue that just came to her ears, mm. and it's exciting. Mm. That one she can tell people about, but the past she can't, that's why her mouth is shut. So, did you, do you really know about what your prophet is saying about the now? So maybe you can go deeper. Because I, did not, I, I have not answered. I have not answered. I didn't answer, right? Let's hear if you can see. What do you want me to say? Uh, the name. If, if God is really showing you the present, and you know, sometimes God shows you, but you will not know what you are saying. Mm -hmm. And you really know exactly. What is the solution? Uh, it can be two ways, yes or no, right? Yeah. Only two ways, yes or no. You want me to say yes or no? Mm. Uh. Do it. Ah, Papa, what I'm hearing. Is it no, 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 no. Wait, it's not about yes or no. Uh. What I'm hearing, uh. it can actually make a runaway go upstairs lock door and not open for two hours mm. but i will just say it in passing because i just heard it mm. but on the yes or no part <laughs> on the yes or no part uh. i as <laughs> i mm. as the apostle mm. i will put a yes. Mm. Why? Mm. Because the stone is green. Mm. It's deep. <laughs> it's deep. You understand? She didn't get it. <laughs> Because the stone is green. <laughs> but not the stone which is green that... No, no, no. no. Yes. It's done, it's done. Okay. Yes. She knows. But the problem I'm having, mm. the stone is green. That's why I'm not sure. Because green means go mm. if you're on the traffic light mm. and it's red mm. stop there mm. but if it's green go, go. Mm. so i'm not sure is it go into or mm. go <laughs> to be honest to be honest <laughs> to be honest i think it's i think papa papa Papa, mm. I think it's go away. <laughs> Why? Why? Mm. My thought, I didn't say the Lord said. I didn't say the Holy right. Spirit. Yes, I yes. didn't say God said. Mm. I didn't say God came or angel. Because time mm. is the most important thing. Mm. Maybe you can interpret that one better. What? Time is the most important thing. But time on her, she's valuing time. But time on the green, no valuing time. 
So, so here, since you are thinking, I'm thinking. Let it go ahead until you hear from God. Yes, yes. That's why I said yes. But that's why I said yes. Don't cross the line. So go ahead. Go. But don't it's cross done. the line. No kiss. <laughs> no touch it. Only, yeah, only yeah, hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only hug. Only hug. There's no kiss. Only hug. <laughs> so it's done. That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. I, I, I will give you an offering. Ah! That was deep. I received. Yeah, I received. I will, I will print this to my wall. Huh? Yeah, put it in a frame. I will put, put this in a frame. frame. I need a frame. Stick it in a frame. Oh my goodness. Oh, you just killed up. Yes. You don't even know about the watchers. No, I don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening here. No. That's grace. Wow. Yes. That's grace. Yeah. But this one has got the black socks with green. But their green is three green. Three lines. One, two, three. Show them. I can see. Ah. Ah. See, see like that where the oh. students see your feet. Oh. This is good. All black, but there's three green. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> the feet represent authority. Yeah. So, and everything that I have placed under your feet, I have given you dominion or authority, he said. There's a scripture, Hebrews 2 and 8, he says, and putting all things under your feet, I've left nothing outside of your control. Mm. And amplified it. The Lord said, you have now been taking control and walking in your authority. Amen. And then the green that's represented there, the difference in t between what he said is, he said, yes, it can mean go. God is sending you, but this time the Adidas mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. I did us. Ah. You're going in the authority because of what has happened here and the grace that's transferred to your life. So now when you make a decision, when she was sitting here, I saw something connecting with you, even with relationships. You'll be able to go forward with authority and power. You'll be able to go uh, forward with a newness, not in anything old because it's already been born for you. So the Lord is taking you forward. And even in three, three stripes, but also three different areas in finance, and relationships and I saw you even in in some uh, but this is like a, a business things and different things God has skilled you almost with like I saw you like people come and they want to come get wisdom from you mm -hmm. counsel like a counseling Jesus. grace Jesus. yes Jesus. I saw counseling grace Jesus. this new hey. and I saw wisdom Jesus. literally <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom. The wife of the bishop. <laughs> Amen. <Yeah>. Amen. <laughs> Literally, it's going to be financially prosper for you. It's going to be very excellent. Even something interesting. This is um, in the area of their counseling and different things. I don't know if you ever thought about doing more like it looks like it starts with like more one-on-one -on -one type things more and then I saw it developing into like places mm -hmm. like you have your own things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and God is going to get people will come to you from everywhere for the wisdom of God that is coming to you and the wisdom's transferred Amen. because of who you sit under Amen. so Amen. it will be a in the next three years Everything that you've wanted, everything you've moved and moving forward to, everything that you thought was even like in delay mm -hmm. will speed up. You'll catch speed in the realms of the spirit and you're going to actually begin to do the things you wanted to do. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. What about the Which one? I, I was, I was, go chain. Which was I was go chain. can I just go go there is there is a confirmation of something. Mm. There is something that happened to her life mm. Mm. that's connected to me. Mm. Chai. That's why she wore the gochi and I'm wearing the gochi. Chai. Because in the realm of the spirit, my mother had an accident in 2003. Mm. And when she had an accident, she fractured her legs. Mm. And here, she has an issue where whenever she walks, she fractures her legs mm. all the time. Mm. So the green on the socks mm. is life, which means the Lord is saying, I'm giving life to her legs. Mm. 
was all the time, all the time, almost all the time, almost all the time, when she steps somewhere, if something is about to happen, she fractures her leg. Mm -hmm. She wears these big things yeah. to tighten her leg yeah. again, right? I wore boots. I had, she wore boots. I injured my foot like twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was like an accident type of a thing. Mm -hmm. So I saw that. And the Lord's saying, because of the green you are wearing and because of the cross you are wearing, it's the same as I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. As the Lord comforted me, the Lord is going to comfort you in a certain mm. area of your life that's connected to a loss that you went through before. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can, I, can I do something for her? Mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a child, I used to do <clears throat> a lot of gymnastics and very athletic, right? So my ankles, would sprain them all the time. So it got to the place, no matter what, I move. However, I flip them, land on them, anything. It doesn't sprain, but would hurt a normal person and have people out. It doesn't happen to me. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to touch you. Touch. Come on, Shibaba. May every misfortune of the legs, your ankles, your bones be strengthened. There will not be one broken bone in your body. Right now, your bones are strengthening. And accidents are never to come to your legs, yeah. to your feet, to your ankles again. Strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Mm. Amen. I release it to you in Jesus' name. Thank you. It's done, Jesus. It's done. Thank you, Lord. Why do you call that one? That drink. Breathe. Sun kiss. What's the name? Sun kiss. Sun kiss to orange. Sugar. Machi bobo 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 bobo. Ah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> it was no accident that you actually had brought the can with you. Mm. It was there and you had it. The orange represents the color of revival. Mm. And God said, I have revived your life. I have redeemed you. Mm -hmm. I have restored you in mm -hmm. such a mighty way. Mm -hmm. I heard the Lord said, from the past, I have removed the shame and the reproach. Mm -hmm. And with that, it says, look at it, it says, son and kiss by sun the kiss Lord. Son kiss T. I got to get the T part. <laughs> yeah, we'll build on the T, but son kiss. So I'm going to let, uh, exactly, but even that the Lord, <laughs> two part meeting, but son, if you look at it, the son as God, as the Lord Jesus being the son, he has kissed you, he has blessed you, and not only in the realm of like you being his, being the daughter, mm. a favored daughter, one who has revival, one who also the orange represents finances that come to you mm. and the things you've been drinking of it and it shall flow to you and it shall flow through you. That's why currency flows through you and to you. He said, why do you have, I have what he said, Zelle, PayPal, all these different ones because it's currency. It flows to you and through you. So people have to be able to give to you and then it comes out of you and goes to you, to you and through you. I saw money flowing to you and through you as he has kissed you in this area. He's also in the area, once again, I don't know what this relation, you started something with the theme to even in the area of relationships, which in the past to you were something not so, not a good area of your life. Even like mentally, it really began to break you down because you're a giver. God said now, because of your relationship where he has kissed you and he has touched you, that now you will be able to move forward in this area too. Deep. Uh, it's deep. Uh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I think. 
something. Mm. Repeat what you're saying. Um, in the area of relationships, um, I was talking about the son, um, the Lord Jesus being the son, how he is now, he has kissed her, not only as a daughter, and as, as but also, um, Lord, now I'm forgetting myself. <laughs> um, he has redeemed her, um, oh, to you, the flow, the currency of flowing to you and through you. Um, in relationships, you said it was a physical redeeming and that. Mm. Ah, let's forget, it's fine. But you, your genes are torn on the knee part. Mm. 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 Meaning what have made you to enjoy. Remember, gene represents enjoying. Mm. What made you to enjoy all this time? Mm. All this that's been prophesied mm. is your prayer life. Mm. That's why it's torn here. Mm. Because you've been on your knees mm. for a long time. Mm. And God has given you the gift of discernment. It's not a, it's not a coincidence that your mask dropped. Mm. And I can see the piercing on the nose. Mm. The nose represents what? Descendant of spirit. Mm. So God has given you the gift to separate between situations that were taking place in your life, demonic and godly ones. Mm. And because of that power of discernment, God is now written you in the gift of prophecy. That's why you're wearing pink. Mm. Mm. Amen. It's a color of what? The prophecy. Of prophecy. Mm. And God is going to give you what we call ancient prophecy. Mm. That's Jesus. why it's a blouser. Amen. Which our mothers used to wear. Yes. yes, yes, yes. It's ancient type of prophecy God is giving you. Mm. But as God is giving you now, you are holding this uh, sun cast, which is the complication mm. of your love life. Because mm -hmm. all range, it is a cover. Mm. Mm. The Bible talks about, uh, Galatians chapter 5 talks about now the fruit of the spirit is love, mm -hmm. open bracket, patience, long suffering, all these other mm -hmm. gifts, then mm -hmm. close bracket. Right. Meaning love is the shell, Come on. Mm -hmm. not the orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy the orange, you have you to have remove the shell. Mm -hmm. So there is something that God is blessing you into, mm -hmm. but there is something that is also blocking your blessing. Mm -hmm. So it's a blessing, but it's not complete. That's yes. why the complication is in interpreting sun kiss tea. Mm. <laughs> so, it, so it remains a mystery. Can I say something yeah. on that? Um, <clears throat> on, on the color orange, according to the teachings you've given us on colors and interpretation. It's a color that represents miracles. miracles. Uh -huh. So in her life, there is an area that she's praying for a miracle. Mm -hmm. Like a move of God mm -hmm. in her health. Mm -hmm. And it's something that she just desires you to just say a word. And she believes that everything about her health is sorted. But the Lord is saying, the only thing also that shall connect, <laughs> that shall connect that health life of hers, is connected to actually sun kiss. But the tea, I think I found the interpretation. Mm. <laughs> sun kiss mm. the father. Mm. It's going to come from a place of intimacy with the Father. Mm. So her miracle is going to be birthed from a place of intimacy with the Father. Mm. This is the... But on the miracle now, <laughs> the miracle, on the miracle, uh, hey, hey. <laughs> Another miracle, if you read your stories in the Bible, mm. Mm. so if you use the same faith, mm. like the woman in the Bible, mm. it shall be perfect. Mm. It's done. Amen. It's done. Amen. Amen. It's called prophetic wisdom. Amen. Amen. Who? Come, Donna.
Să vedem să-i de stat. Poate să-i stat de întoare de da. E stat. Yes. How much more can you get? Yes. How much more interpretation? How much more impartation can you get? Baba, <laughs> baba, you know, be able on to it. Malege de, gaga gaga de. Baba, 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 de. This Samsung phone. That is. You had one. For yeah. five, you had one for five minutes. She wanted to put me in the Samsung no. room. No, 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 Grandpa. For she you, she demoted me from no. iPhone to the Samsung room. No, no, we, we, Grandpa. For demotion from iPhone. Grandpa, for yes. yes. Papa, don't you remember you wanted to try it for five minutes? I <laughs> did you get it? Work. But you didn't need the iPhone. We, we did so many. Yeah, did More, so many. not one. Too yeah. many. Is that black one now? Is that all black? Behind. Is that color black? Behind. Uh, his, his shirt Burgundy. is the, his office furniture is a dark chocolate, like a brownish black. Nice. So you are not wearing like black inside? For the idea. I just see. I they say breakthrough coming to the man before you prophesy to the woman. So maybe <coughs> take turn the camera for interpretation to flow. <laughs> prophesy. Ah Run. Me? Mm. You start then she just Yes. There is a new covenant mm. that God is releasing with him because the colour bigand is the colour of a covenant. Mm. It resembles a new covenant that God is making with him and his family. Because the main thing that they have been praying for, mainly they have been praying that God ushers them in a place of early satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Early satisfaction. Mm -hmm. There are things that you want God to satisfy you now so that your children and your children's children will not have to struggle for what you struggled on. So there is a covenant that I see you making with God. And this covenant is connected with you actually saving the woman of God and giving your lives fully to the prophetess. Okay? And I'm seeing an issue that is connected to the bishop. And the bishop, God is going to empower him big time and is going to prosper him. Because he thought that, or he thinks he has made it in, in, in his area of work, but more contracts are about to hit him yeah. Amen. that he has never experienced in his life. So I see new contracts mm -hmm. coming. And I'm actually seeing a half a million contract. Yes. yes. Coming within two, two months from now. A half a million Jesus. contract coming to him within two months. I'm even seeing the staff being expanded. A lot of stuff is being expanded, and I'm seeing trucks. I'm seeing a lot of trucks, a lot of trucks being bought. I'm even seeing you buying like a bigger truck, like a cargo, because it's going to expand and increase and increase like never before. But where am I seeing this now? Yes. I'm seeing the jacket she's wearing. Yes. It's looking like a snake type of a vibe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. And a snake okay. resembles wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be wise as a snake. Mm -hmm. as a serpent. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is saying, as the mother of the house, I'm going to give you wisdom. And I'm giving you a court of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because to manage all these things that are about to come, mm -hmm. it needs wisdom. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm seeing that court looking like a serpent type of right. thing. The Lord is saying, I'm giving you wisdom. So your wisdom is going to balance things within the house. It will balance things within the business. It will balance things within even ministry says the Spirit of God. Mm. But when I see you inside now, there is a like leather, black type of a situation. It's, it might, but it's leather. I mean, I'm seeing leather. But it's black. Mm -hmm. Now, leather now is the same attire that John the Baptist was wearing. Mm. And it's the same attire that Elijah was wearing. Yes. And the leather now resembles the prophetic, the full manifestation of the supernatural yes. in the prophetic. Yes. Mm. So the Lord is saying, 
with the wisdom I've given you, mm -hmm. I've also given you the supernatural ability mm. yes. to operate in the fullness of the prophetic. Not only the fullness of the prophetic, but even in business, there shall be a supernatural flow mm. that God is about or that God will bring in your business, in ministry, and in every area of your life. Amen. 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 Go deeper. <clears throat> you, you said a lot of things I wanted to, I thought of, so. <clears throat> but what, <laughs> um, when you were still talking about the, pa I saw what you were saying, like the pattern of like what the snake that, that mm. looked like it was there. Mm. I also saw where the Lord was saying for you guys, um, two things, important. I looked at your husband and I'm gonna come back to the shirt with the snake. And when I looked at him, is, is that, um, is the bookshelf behind him, is it actually black? It's a brown black. black. It's like a it, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate? Okay. The wall is black. Okay, because I thought I'm like, I'm seeing black too. Mm. Mm. Amen. Mm. And as he was, you were connecting with the watchers. And the black is behind him. The block is yeah. behind him. Mm. And, and I saw that, that not only would you be in that dimension too, um, that he was talking about with the watchers, but I saw the books that are there. And when he was talking about, did you say wisdom or was I already thinking? I said, I was going to wisdom because I saw that wisdom was even greater, greater was coming to you. But this is the one thing I saw when I looked over with the snake. God said, be careful of, <clears throat> listen, I saw, this is deep. This is very deep. But remember we were talking the other day in your office, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Be careful of, I saw people attaching themselves, trying to come to you. And he said, like the serpent was cunning. Mm -hmm. There's some people that will come and you are going to need the wisdom and discernment to know not to engage, tell too much personal business information. And sometimes remember it comes and it's like, oh, this is just a, perfect match and it feels really good but then in the inside that there's even there's something God's been pricking like mm, I don't quite know if we should do this but you don't know quite why you feel like that yes, yes, but but the spirit is telling you just to pull back just a little bit because your discernment your wisdom of those that are coming around you he's going to increase and even you guys I said be, God's telling me to let you guys know to be people will want to come to you for different things and the spirit of God will let you guys know who to actually invite in and who not to. And the Lord said, even the relationships that have been forming around you now, pray concerning those relationships because I saw God wanting to reveal some things to you and that you'll, you'll know. But there was a thing, it was only like, it was like a small little thing even that she was feeling about certain things Prophesy. with business and with things. And you're like, everything seems right. It seems like I'm supposed to do this and it seems like we should do this, but something went, yes. And you didn't know what that was. And so when I saw the snake and um, look that he saw, I knew God said, I'm gonna give you wisdom to discern in the area of relationships. And you have such a, both of you, a large heart. That's why he's even, it's burgundy, but still represent a type of a love that you have for people. And God said that he's going to allow you to know how to love the people, because sometimes love is correction. Sometimes love is, is discipline. It's different types of love that he's gonna show you because you guys are such givers. He's gonna let you know where to give of yourself because where you're going is going to require people who he's trying to get at you guys for all kinds of reasons. But God said to stick together, take it to the Lord. You will walk in this level of dimension of discernment and wisdom. Amen. Amen. It's already happening. Yes, amen. 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 Yes. And you guys didn't talk to me about it no, or nobody no. else. It's just something no. amongst yourself. Yeah, you're just yeah, like, mm. so you, you told your husband, you're like, I don't quite know yes. if we should make these moves, yes. these things. Did you say sweetie? Yeah. Is it, turn yes. it to you. Oh, turn it to, to you. Yes. She said it is me. It is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, the Bible says, test and see the goodness of God. Test and see the goodness of God. God is about to show you guys a certain level that you've never seen. Because this is like a move when it comes to ministry side. 
apart from the business and everything you've been doing, there's a ministry called. Yes. God has been pulling them into. Yes. Absolutely. That's why the men wear maroon type of cloth. Mm -hmm. Because this cloth represents a covenant. Amen. And inside of his he's wearing a white. White. White, white represents holiness. Mm -hmm. And holiness is to fulfill the assignment God has given you. So God is launching you into the assignment. And he already given you the knowledge you need. That's why behind you there are books. Mm -hmm. And there's a black wall which is also representing the angels called the watchers. So the angels have been sent mm -hmm. and established. The knowledge has been given. Mm -hmm. The covenant is already there. It's time to move into what God has assigned you both to do. It is the time. Amen. Amen. And it's done. We have done amen. amen. It's Purpose Partner International Ministries. Jesus. It's just been formed. Amen. Amen. Purpose Partner International Ministries. It's a marriage. Purpose. Partner. It's for marriage. Marriage ministry. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Preparing those that want to be married, those that are okay. challenged in their marriage. I almost spoke about the agreement. It was yeah. glittering, glittering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, maybe you can start from there. Me? Mm. Mm. <laughs> there is I don't want to say 20 something years but how old is your older child my oldest son is 35 and the other one this one is 22 22 come because I saw the ring too true mm. 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 When you do this, ministry is going to be part of it. Come on. Amen. But you guys will remain connected to your fuel. <laughs> Serving and humbling yourself. Come on. Yes. But God is going to use you and He's going to be part of what you're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. God already has given you the knowledge and the map of what you are doing. Amen. So let the Father be able to grow me. Yes. yes. And also share the same vision with him. Amen. So that one day this one shall rise to grow mm. in the same vision and help many people. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. <laughs> we just called them to do, they're doing a marriage retreat for their ministry. Mm. We put them up higher. We've been placing them in positions to do lots of things in, in our transition. Yes. Mm. Yes. So they've been very oh. instrumental. And they're taking off all the married couples. They're taking the one-on-ones, and they're already developing. We've been talking about this, so Amen. this is accurate. It's very deep, deep very deep. I know everyone wants a word, but there are people on YouTube that I feel led that you guys should prophesy to. So you can all open YouTube accounts, both of you, and do marathon prophecies for the people thereof. God bless you. Listen. There is a lady, you are not tall, you are not fat, you are not skinny. You are watching me. I see like red on your lips. Mm -hmm. And you are in New York City. There are like four people in the house. And you are believing God for a turnaround prophetically in your life. With the issue that is to do with your love life and also the prophetic. Jehovah is about to touch you. You are also wearing something that is black in it. It's not like a complete black. But you also have a, something on you that is black. The Lord is with you. I need that person to confirm first. For the Lord is a word and the Lord is about to touch and bring a turn around in your life. Let's keep going, my husband. Someone give us confirmation so we can know how to move. Anything else? Mm. YouTube. Did you win? We, made, we prayed for everybody that gave a thousand in here. Oh, it. It. Oh, okay. Amen. 
Uh, Rebecca Mwila, someone is watching me uh, by the name of Rebecca Mwila on YouTube. I don't know what connection you have with, with Zambia, but in the realm of the spirit, there is a shift that is coming to your family because I'm seeing your family struggling. I'm seeing your family struggling, but in the areas of health. And the Lord says, I have to deliver your family and bring forth healing and restoration over your family. Whatever that has been happening in your family, God is about to bring forth restoration and rejuvenation within your family. In Jesus' mighty name, it's done. Amen. Amen. I saw in the dreams for a woman named Diamond. Mm -hmm. She mentioned that she had two dreams where I appeared in her dreams. But I saw in the dreams that I gave her something. And in this, when I gave her, God said that he was giving her what she needed to go to the next level. <clears throat> and also, after that, she was wondering, that, she said, I heard the words like, oh, that was strange. You, I wonder what that means. But God wanted you to get up and decree and declare that your deliverance and that your victory was settled. And I heard the Lord say that you need to proclaim it, that it was done. When he revealed it to you, that you weren't sure what to do, but he said, it is done. It, literally, it is done. And he brought to you twice because literally the first time you didn't understand it. So he had brought it again the second time. And the Lord said, the fact that I'm on here and the fact that now I'm called your name, that he's telling you now a third time, it is done. Claim it, go, that your freedom is at hand and go forth in Jesus' name. I'm seeing someone by the name of Asia. Um, God is protecting your child because I'm seeing you pregnant. Mm. And I'm seeing the enemy trying to send some complications to your pregnancy. Mm. But I'm seeing the hand of God resting upon you. And the Lord is saying your child is protected in Jesus' name. You will give birth well with no complications. Mm. The hand of God is on your life amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. There's someone uh, with the name Rocky, and I see three mountains in front of Rocky. And on the right side, I see a lot of trees. I, I cannot count them. There are a lot of trees. But then between the mountains and the, the, the trees, I see a river that is flowing. And the Lord is ministering to Rocky that the mountains are representing the place of training, which you are in a season where God is grooming you and positioning you into the ministry as given. Mm. The trees that are in front, they are representing the people God has called you for. And he's saying, after the training, I shall cause you to cross over the river. Mm. As Elijah and Elisha crossed the river to the other side, wind, storm, fire, horses, chariots, it shall be an experience that shall usher you into the ministry God has given you. Amen. Prepare yourself. Go through this training. It shall be hard for you. It shall be a painful season, but you shall surely cross over to the other side, mm. says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. 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 I saw a name Patience and the Lord saw, I saw five stones like David. Mm -hmm. And she picked up five stones and literally began to hit her target. Mm -hmm. Like David picked up these five stones and he swung it, he slung the one at the Goliath. God said, you are going to hit that target in your life and you will supersede everything that's coming against you. Because I saw five areas of your life that things were attacking you. And the Lord said, I've given you the rocks to overcome and to elevate. God said, do not fear. 
for I am with you. And God said, victory is at hand. And I want you to go and read that story. When you read it before you go to sleep, I saw God coming in your dream and giving you a revelation even deeper. You will wake and you will feel the confidence and the boldness to actually slay your Goliath and everything else that needed to be slayed in your life. In Jesus' name, it is done. I just prophesied someone by the name of Asia. Uh -huh. It's the dream you see in Asia I was supposed to text you. She had a dream of a complication of her pregnancy. Wow. Now, before she texted, she wanted to text me. She wanted to text me. But the apostle told her before she texted. Mm. Deep. Yes, Amen. Amen. The owners of the ministry. <laughs> the owners of the ministry. <laughs> the shareholders. <laughs> the co-partners. The ministry founded by Apostle and Lobby Asia. The inspectors. The inspectors. I'm the ambassador. Express the gospel. <laughs> Professor. Professor. What color is this? What is the light? Is lime, huh? <laughs> <laughs> mustard. 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 It's mustard. Mustard is a mix of what and what? Yellow. Yellow, yellow. yellow and green. Yeah. Mm. 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 Probably this is that. You understand? Mm. Mm. I don't remember what mustard represents. I guess I have to go to green and yellow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yellow is... Oh, I'm looking at your pants, Mama. And the color, I cannot really figure out the color. And the scotch, but I can't really figure out which color is this. Is it brown? Is it light brown? Is it white? Is it cream? Is it black? There are different colors. Is the story of your life at this pleasant moment. Because you, you are trying to figure out your mm. life right now. To figure out and see what exactly is happening. Because things are no longer the same like the way it used to be before. So you are looking in your life and you are like, is this this or is this that? What should I do? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? It's like there is no clarity. And you just want God to shift everything. Especially this season. You just want God to shift this season. You understand? But as I see your, your hair color now, it's like purple, right? Is it purple? Mm -hmm. No, no. Burgundy. It's purple. Purple, burgundy. It's purple. It's, purple right? <laughs> it's a mixture. Do you see red? Very Where is the red? Where is the red? It's a burgundy purple. But whatever that has been happening here, the Lord is is granting you in a place of kingship, in a place where whatever you want, you're not going to work for it. You're not going to cry for it. But as a king, it's going to be given to you. Because within you, there is royalty. So there are many doors that are just going to open and people will just come and give you money from nowhere. But uh, the royalty is talking about is actually a bloodline from where you're coming from. Where people were born as leaders from wow. even a certain village where others were chiefs, others were one of the great leaders. Wow. And uh, when they were leaders, also ladies were raised to be like, I can't say prophets, but something that is to connect with the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how to call it. What do you call it? Uh, the families who gather, one person will start giving prophetic direction, uh, not say like a, the way we do it in Christianity and stuff. Mm -hmm. So from there I saw a belt flowing and from generation to generation and generation. It came on you, you were supposed to be one of the people that are going to stand for the family, give them those prophecies, give them stuff, but you decided to follow Christ. Mm. But the gift remains in you because you were born with it. Mm. Ah. And you were born with the light for the family. Wow. Wow. But then I don't know why you did not respond to this gift for a long time. 
and uh, when you give back to to Cookie, uh, Cookie also got the key from you. Mm. It is the same that is uh, yours has, mm. and uh, as it is in both of you, God wants you to accept the call mm. and move into the calling. Mm. And it is when you shall move in that calling that you will not be able to be in a place of warfare. The warfare you are going through now is because you don't have a backup of God according to how He wants you to be doing in this sense. But by the moment you shall begin to do what He wants you to do, the warfare are coming to an end. The revival will come upon you, the revival will come upon your daughter, the voice of God shall be heard, the prophetic will move, and you shall see great, 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 great move of God. For the Lord is with you. Now, mustard. Mustard. Be before we go to mustard, mm. when you spoke about the kingship and the royalty and the gift and, and stuff, there is a manifestation actually in that area that has already begun in her, mm. where God is leading her to lead a group of people. Because I'm seeing you leading a group of people. It's like your country people, like mm. Ghanaians in California, and you're leading them. Mm. You're talking to them. Prophet. You're gathering them. And it's actually happening, right? It's happening. Yeah. A group of people. And due to that, it's birthing something big within you, where you are actually being directed by God to the place of your destination within your assignment. So the struggle that's happening now is just a clear sign that you are pushing through Amen. Into your place of manifestation. Mm -hmm. So it will surely come to pass. Mm -hmm. But the big anti now, it's a mixture of green and what? Yellow. yellow. And yellow. Green being the color of life, but yellow being the color of healing. Mm -hmm. Which means there is an area that you need healing and God's divine intervention, mm -hmm. especially pertaining your life and pertaining your family. There are issues that have been happening around your family that you just need life in them and you need healing in them. You need God's divine intervention. Personally, you don't have the ability to change anything, but you are believing God for a manifestation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I um, looked again and I saw mustard, the Lord began to speak to me about the mustard tree. Mm. And yeah, he yeah, said, yeah, yeah. if any man shall say to this mountain, be ye removed, cast into sea, move, go, cast, it shall be done. But you decided to have the faith of a mustard seed. God said, I'm increasing your faith, and as I've been increasing your faith, that it shall grow into this giant seed. And I saw you moving mountains and speaking things and decreeing them by the right of your birthright, your spiritual birthright and your birthright they're speaking of. God said that you shall move mountains and that you will be a planter of seeds with the people that you're gathering. And they shall move mountains because of what you shall bring. And it shall move and spread all over. And the land shall know of your organization. And uh, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like it's like a, I don't know, like almost turns into like a foundation or something, some type of organization there. And this will be a great thing for you. And it will leave a legacy that you built by yourself, by your own hands. Amen. But, uh... Uh, there are two people watching, and we have to be delivered. So that if there is a phone that people can call in, uh, everyone in here, if I'm not mistaken, have watched pornography. So it's not something that someone should be like, hmm. But you are addicted. It has become demonic, and you need to be delivered. It's actually two people. One, your name starts with M. I always bad to him, you probably But these are online, not known. <laughs> <laughs>
two people. They need to fall on there and they need to be delivered. Because it has to be, it has, you know, there is addiction level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this Jesus. one is an, a demonic level. Jesus. It's a demonic level. Yeah. So you, you really need to be delivered. You need to be set free. There have to be a number that we can give people to call in. And, and this one has to be delivered. Uh, that number will be on fire. <laughs> Everyone will call. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Scary said no. Uh, what you can do, maybe Wallace can send the WhatsApp number. Uh, put WhatsApp on a, on a. Let me do it. Tell Wallace to send a code from the WhatsApp number of our. Prosper, where is he? He left? Uh, people have to be delivered. Amen. Sometimes you can't shy, you can't hide your demons mm. unless you want them. Manifest, let them go. Wow. You are too anointed, you are too blessed as a child of God. Amen. 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 You called Wallace? It's 301-503. Five zero three seven one four four. It's three zero one, right? Yes. Five zero one five zero three seven one four four. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they need to call in. Or let them give us their number, right? But some people say. Some It's in the WhatsApp. They already are sons and daughters. Here, Sky, give me. Oh, oh they, are, they are commenting on the WhatsApp. Here, WhatsApp. here. here. Ah. But uh, anyone here. with a code from Wallace? You want to you want to call you want to call him, on uh, One of you can call. Sky, can you go? Or one of you guys can go grab the number and call him. Do you guys call him? Yeah, he wants to call the person. Okay. You will tell him to send the code now. It's coming. Put on loud. Okay. You said yes, it's loud. Probably it's just that. Uh, uh, I thought you were. <coughs> Put close to your mic so people can hear. Yeah, then I'm not even there. Here. Yeah. Is the cord coming? What's the cord? Yeah, but I'm ready for the call on a 301 now. Can you mute your phone too? You want to mute your phone? Is that what I said? Hmm? Can you mute? Hello? Yes, can you mute? Can you um, so you turn down the mic so we don't hear the live? Can you mute it, please? Turn it down. Turn down the volume. Okay. Um, we just can hear the feedback. So hold on. Yeah. Deliver that from pornography. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Can you hear me? It says reconnecting. Hold on. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Hello? Yes. Yes, uh, I think it's a bit of a delay, but I can hear you. Okay. Um, all right, good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and begin to start praying. Um, hopefully you're able to maintain the connection, okay? Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Right now, I thank you, Lord, for the deep, 
for the disconnect right now by reason of the blood. I said by reason of the blood, this stronghold, this spirit that is a demonic spirit, we break ties, this unclean spirit that I'm looking at, literally i break it in the name of jesus i demolish it in the mighty name of jesus i commanded to be ye removed and sent to the pit in the name of jesus i break every tie i destroy every yoke i cancel every dream i cancel el this this spirit that even in your dreams is now affecting you everything that they fed you everything that was given to you in the mighty name of jesus i decree and i declare it to be vomited out of your system that it would be destroyed and taken out of your body in the name of Jesus by reason of the blood that your blood shall be renewed that you shall be restored in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you have some water near near you I just want you to grab some water yes I do I'm going to you pray and when I pray the angel is going to touch your water and when we're done, I want you to, I'm going to give you a prophetic instruction. Um, the apostle is going to pray for you as well. I want you to uh, drink that water at the end. Then I want you to take, I want you to take, uh, I want you to read. These are prophetic instructions. I want you to read Psalms. Psalm, I want you to read. Do you hear, you hear me? Can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Amen. I want you to read Psalms 35. I want you to read it out loud. Yes, and then I want you, excuse me, 35, out loud. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to get some sea salt and I want you to take a, a shower and begin to pray in the shower. When you get out, anoint okay. yourself and don't dry off. Anoint yourself. Seven times you're going to wash with the sea salt and you're going to decree that it is done, that she's translated you out of darkness and into the light. And then you're going to anoint yourself and get out and pray. Don't dry yourself off. Just begin to pray until you dry off. Now I'm going to continue. I'm going to pass you to the apostle. These are things you will do quickly and in prayerfully after we pray, after we pray for you. Okay. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Bro. Blessings. Bishop. Hello. Hello, blessings, blessings, Apostle. How are you doing? I'm blessed so much for to to get this grace today. I'm well. Um, I don't know what connection you have with East Africa, because. Yes, I'm from East Africa, from Kenya. I saw Kenya in your spirit. Mm. Yes, I am from Kenya. I'm originally Kenya, from Kenya. But in the realms of the spirit, I don't yes. see this guy in Kenya. Mm. Uh, there was a connection I'm with not Germany. In Kenya, there was a connection with Germany. I'm in Germany, Papa. You Germany, know? no, the phone number is Germany. Mm. And when I saw Germany, it's like you desire more of the prophetic. But this is the yes, problem that's happening. Every time he's yes. watching a prophetic service mm -hmm. on YouTube, mm -hmm. yes. he ends up going to pornography. Mm. Pornography. That's very true. And at the same time, God wants to use him. Mm -hmm. I am not comfortable to listen when I say, Flo, if you don't pick it, then maybe I'll say it. Hmm? If, uh, Flo, if you don't pick what I want to say, then maybe I'll say it. Keep going. No, no, let's just say something. Do you do you watch wrestling? Wrestling. Uh -huh. I used to, but not so. I, I I used to when I was a child, but not so much now. Ah, do you know a guy called John Cena? <laughs> John Cena. No, I can't even think of that. I'm so excited that time. Do you know a guy called John Cena? <laughs> Yes, I know him. I think yeah, I know him from, from movies, but not. <laughs> you know him from movies. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Papa. I had him. I had him. Ah, this man is a serious. <laughs> Come again. I missed it. Explain, please. You missed it. I'll skip it. Yes. 
<laughs> He's not talking about that wrestling you are watching as a kid. <laughs> There's another wrestling he's talking about. Oh, yes, oh, yes. He <laughs> 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 didn't know yes. <laughs> yeah, Tim. <laughs> because I saw it. <laughs> but I can't say it. <laughs> it's live. Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> Ah, you are deep. Now you get it. The poster, his favorite poster is Johnny's John C. Yes. <laughs> it's John C. This promise is crazy. You pick the poster. Huh? Huh? I didn't hear it. I'm not here. I think he said it's my favorite. Hey! Wait, let's. I'm also your turn, dude. I'm also the spirit. But I think let's close the life. <laughs> But I'm going to pray for you, sir. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm going to pray for you, and the hand of God is going to touch you. Amen. Today is the, is the end of your struggles. I thank you. In thank Jesus you. Even name. when I try to stop it, I will stop two weeks, three weeks, one month. I see. I want you to put your hand on your face. Yeah, just touch your face like this. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree. Mm, Apostle, don't be shy. Yes, Lord. Apostle, okay, oh. leave her the man. Let him touch the private part. No, there's a reason I was saying you should touch the face. Mm. You touched there, but I was being there. Mm. I was being there. Don't, don't, don't walk there. He is an example of many yes, people that are to be delivered in this video. Yes, sir. There are many people that are also in the same situation that mm. need to be free. So don't hold back. Okay. Mm. Don't talk about wrestling. Say it as it is. Okay. Mm. You are the apostle. Absolutely. <laughs> hold. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Because this has been tormenting me for many years. Yes. Many years. Put, put your phone on a table or something. Okay, Papa. Now, hold your face and hold your private part. Your right hand on your face and your left hand on your private part. Okay. I want you to say this after me now. Okay. I want you to say masturbation has no power over me. Masturbation has no power over me. I speak deliverance upon my own head. I speak deliverance upon my own head. And I speak to my own private parts. And I speak to my own private parts. To respond to the word of God. To respond to the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break the demon of masturbation now. I break the demon of masturbation now. I break the demon of delay now. I break the demon of addiction to pornography now. I break the demon of addiction to pornography now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm free. I'm free. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. I'm restored. I'm restored. In Jesus' name. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do I'm going to do something that you did to another guy in 2013, Papa. Mm. Where a guy had a problem like this, mm. you switched off his feelings. You mm. couldn't feel anything mm. from the waist going down. Mm. Nothing was happening. Mm. So I'm going to say it now. <laughs> As I say it now, I'm going to lock it for some time. For some time, then I unlock it. So you have to look for me. <laughs> And the way we don't take it. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I lock every feeling from your waist going down. Any sexual desire, any addiction type of desire, I lock it right now in Jesus' name. 
that desire is out of you by the power of the Holy Ghost. From today, you are free, you are delivered. It's done in Jesus' name. Thank you. Yeah. You know, God bless you. God bless you. Instead of focusing more, and prophesy one, two people, let's have a broadcast in the morning. Yes, Papa. To deliver people from pornography and masturbation. Mm. Because it's one of the reasons why many people don't see the spirit. True. Mm. True. Because they are using the wrong eye. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Because masturbation you are seeing. Yes. Wow. True. But your connection to seeing is connected to a demonic world. Mm. So tomorrow 10 a.m. we have to deliver the people. Yes, Papa. Mm. We'll do it. So God bless everybody watching. I personally believe everyone has been blessed. I personally, everybody has been equipped, empowered. Amen. Let us meet uh, to... I think before everyone go, uh -huh. the people that gave a thousand, lift up your hands. I share the grace upon me into you. I share favor. Mm -hmm. I share the blessing of God. Mm -hmm. And I double the prophetic anointing. Mm -hmm. Let it rest over your lives. Mm -hmm. Zena Congo Mangendi Atete, Sabaya Dabasi Atete in the Namashi Ate, Soma Soma Mama Utse Miashaka, Lelia Anga Makadia Congo, Morete Morata Mutsu Maungengen Dia Mungeke, Baya Tsuma Baya Tsomo Boy Shiki Dia Kanga, Liberia Dia Stos, Liberia Dia Stos, Liberia Dia Stos, Bam Bam Baba 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 Beyonso, Sakrianda Radabaka Kiandaya. Sakrianda kadediya kasiandaya ndala ndala ndele bedia bombo baba 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 bombo siki daya kadabadaya levia abarande stivra ati kija la mandi in the name of Jesus is done. Providence, you take the lion. Take the lion. The lion. The lion. Oh. When you go live. As we do, do it with the life. Oh, yes. The authority shall move with Jesus. Amen. On your live broadcast. Yes. It's going to be crazy. Ah. Uh. It's even your voice. Amen. Even your voice shall yes. carry such authority. Glory. You'll be like a rolling lion. Mm. The, 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 the prophetic is going to be crazy. <laughs> the anointing of God is upon you. God is giving you speed, accuracy, and power. You will see a shift even numbers yes. on your live broadcast. Yes. You will see a great shift that will take place. Mm. This land is just not a lion. It is a crown on its head. Mm. That's mm. kingship. Wow. It's also a double confirmation of authority and power. Amen. But a king owns a kingdom. So God is establishing your ministry like never before. Oh, yes. God is taking your ministry to a different dimension. Yes. And shockingly, there is only one person that will be a blessing tremendously. Others will bless you, but one will be a blessing tremendously for this ministry to be established. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to establish you in a place of freedom. Therefore, you are going with grace, you are walking with power, and the prophetic is upon you. Everyone that's going back to California or wherever, kneel down there, let me bless we, we're starting the prayer, prayer and prophecy that you told me to do hmm. Monday for 30 days. Jesus. And we had this big discussion in the house hmm. about a lion. For three or four days, Skylar, can tell three or four days, how many days have we been arguing about a lion? Not arguing, but play fighting about a lion. The bishop wanted this big lion posted in the house. Mm. And I said, no, God will give us a different one, not that one. That, and he said, no, we need the lion in the house. I said, we'll mm. find a lion, but not that lion. And he said, I said, we'll get a lion. He said, no, we want this one. In the, I said, you can't put it in the living room. We need a different lion. And we come here and you give us a lion. <laughs> for how long we've been talking about this lion? For five days? Five days. Five days. <laughs> wow. Literally. And it wasn't just us. It was like anybody who came in the house, they knew about the You're lion. Going back. <laughs> we received. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> this baby. Uh, this baby. Uh, this baby. Uh, uh, I've been waiting for this moment. Really? Ay. Well, sometimes people like like the ones who didn't come near us, they tend to be forgotten. Yeah. Mm. That's why the professor agrees to that sometimes people are forgotten. But, for example, when last you prophesy, like that says a lot. Um, probably like in the last week or two. That's when I, I you, then you came and said something that I had said. Mm. You told me you're like you know she's gonna be blah blah blah. I said oh, that I one. I had just told her mm. um, a couple days before, and I prophesied to her. Prophesy. That she's it. going to be married. Yes. <laughs> I said, so oh, she, I said, oh, you're going to be leaving me. Not leaving me, leaving me, but she's my baby. Uh, you probably say anything deep, you use wisdom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I mean, like, uh, because there's something that I saw God showing me. Uh. But it is a connection with the past. Mm. So not every private life has to be known by everyone. Yes. So prophesy. Um, I haven't seen it though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. But um, in the realm of the spirit, mm -hmm. there are two things I saw. Mm -hmm. Number one, I'm seeing God launching her into the deep mm -hmm. where she is going to become what we call a content creator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to become a content creator and God is going to raise your name up high because not only on social media will you rise, but as a celebrity, you are going to rise, says the Spirit of God. Then number two, I saw you opening and starting your own label that is connected with fashion. Prophesy. It is happening. It is happening. Right now. That's what you're doing right now. So the Lord is saying, mark only three months from now. Mm, yes. The Lord says, I'm launching you into the deep. Amen. And everything that you shall lay hands on. Do you know why everything is going to move very quick? The reason why they are going to move very quick is because you are minding the business of God. Yes. When you take care of God's business, God will take care of your business. Mm. So you have put your energy into the work of God. So what does God do? God will reward you. So you don't have to look for customers. Da, 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 da. Ah, God will bring customers to you. God will bring people to you. God will bring connections to you. So it's a season where God is launching you into business. And I want you to be very attentive and I want you to be very sensitive in this season because new people are going to come in. And some people will try to be a hindrance to you, to be a blockage to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God is going to give you strength and power mm -hmm. to pull through, to ignore certain people. Mm -hmm. Because some will try to come and just to discourage you. Mm -hmm. Some will even speak evil or yeah. ill against you mm -hmm. to discourage what God is trying to do with you. Yes. But focus on what mama and your papa will be saying. Amen. Pursue, overtake, overcome you see the end of God moving in your life. But it's not something that you really think you, are, you might do. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to give you specifics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have seen yourself in the business side. You have seen yourself on the music side. You have seen yourself on the modeling side. You have seen yourself on this other side. Yes. But ministry side, you didn't really see yourself. Yes. So, true. so true. Very true. But I'm going to shock you. Because shock the one that will marry you, Papa said I should be no. <laughs> It's going to be a man of God. <laughs> and ministry wise, God is going to upgrade you. Mm. Because you're going to become a voice to be reckoned with. Yes. Imagine you'll be used as a voice of evangelism in these areas. Imagine you're going for a fashion show. Mm -hmm. 
and they will know that you are a prophetess. Yes. They will know that you are a woman of God. You'll be able to evangelize the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in those areas where yes. Jesus is not spoken. Yes. You will be that voice that will speak there, yes. says the Spirit of God. Yes. You travel nations. What you have done so far in terms of traveling is nothing compared to what you're going to do. Amen. So get ready. Amen. Get ready for what God is about to do with Amen. you. Amen. That's all I have. You're working on fashion? Amen. You'll be shocked. Mm -hmm. You'll be shocked. You you will hold your first million at a young age. Mm. Amen. Amen. But the truth I will tell you is, where I think I need to use wisdom is here. Mm -hmm. Money shall come so much to you mm -hmm. that it will tempt you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will tempt you. Mm -hmm. But in everything that will happen, don't forget it. Yes. Don't forget it. Because they have taken ah, you in. If you forget this yeah. one, I'd kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I kill myself. <laughs> I kill myself. <laughs> but uh, in a serious note, never, never be dead or disconnect yourself from anyone who raised you. Mm. There's a scripture that talks about that. Mm. Uh, if it blocks your future, wow. your breakthroughs, your destination. Whoever God uses to raise you, honor that person to the grave. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That person may wrong you, yes. We are humans, we, we wrong people. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. That means they are all not perfect. But never be evil to someone who raised you. No matter how God blesses you or how, how God will take you out. Amen. Amen. I don't know who is in North Carolina. My yes. sister. Hmm? Yes, your sister. Brother. And your brother. <laughs> <laughs> the pro <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, okay, I'll stop you. Mm. Bishop said, "Don't go deeper." So I'm like, <laughs> only, <laughs> no, go deeper. Go ahead, go deeper. Mm, I'm shy now. <laughs> God will touch her. God will touch her. And I don't know why I saw a child, mm -hmm. a baby, mm -hmm. her baby, mm -hmm. that God is going to give her. I'm mm -hmm. seeing a pregnant, I'm seeing a child. Mm -hmm. She was just married this past year. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a baby. Yes. And God is going to bless her as a special child. Amen. And those who open for her, tell her mm -hmm. to focus on God. Yes. Because the attacks of the enemy will try yeah. to come mm -hmm. and lure her away. Yeah. But true. tell her to focus on God. Mm -hmm. Try to lead her to Mama T. Yes. So that she, she begins to understand what the life of Christ or living in Christ is all about. Yes. So what she needs is God right now yes. at this point in time. Mm -hmm. She can talk about money, business, work and everything. No, even marriage, what she needs is money. What she needs is God. So I'm saying, what she needs is money. <laughs> what she needs is God right now. <laughs> what she needs is God right now. So God will give you money, blessings, finances, opportunities, doors, windows, gates. It will open because of this connection. I actually saw her traveling and coming to California. Yes, yes. Amen. I've been trying to get her to come. She was in Maryland yesterday. Her and her and my brother-in-law. The first time we were in Maryland, I was like, come to church, come to church. She will, she will have a, she will have a, she will have an encounter like a dream. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 She Amen. will have a dream. Yes. And that dream will lead you, lead her to California. Just one She's time. coming. She comes as a rap. She'll come. Amen. It's done. It's done. It's done. Are you not hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. I was looking at the younger you, mm -hmm. and uh, you look about five or six, mm -hmm. and the Lord said, um, even like things that, when there was separation and divorce and different things mm -hmm. by 10, that you kind of learned to block some things out yes. just so you could function, yes. is not something you told me. No. No, no. When now you want to be sharp and remember things, yeah. That thing has still blocked you. It's so crazy you said that. I just had this, 
I had this dream, but yes, maybe what you're saying is very true. Very true. Mm -hmm. I saw one day I might have corrected you about something, mm -hmm. and you went into your little house, your 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 oasis. And you got on your knees and you mm -hmm. cried out to God yeah. in tears. True. And you wanted to know why you could not break that thing mm -hmm. that you wanted to break so much. Very true. He's giving you your answer right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Lord's saying that he is healing you from that moment. Wow. That you actually, you actually, it was like chaos and d destruction, mm -hmm. arguments and stuff. And mm -hmm. you would go to this place to try to block everything out. Very true. Very true. So he said... That the vows that were made there are being removed. Mm -hmm. That the that the mind that actually began to protect itself, because you know the mind will protect itself. It will try to protect itself. That God said that healing has come to your mind, mm -hmm. and that the area of being sharp and discerning, you feel like your discerning has been off at times. Mm -hmm. You should be catching. You're not catching. He said, "I saw you taking uh, anointing oil, mm -hmm. and just right here." For seven days. This is, what's the nose, you guys? <laughs> you're going to be able to discern. And you're going to know. But you're going to be sharp. And I saw you. I saw the Daniel one. You'd be ten times better. You're already great. Yeah. But the Lord said, this is the area you asked him about specifically. Yes. You never talked to me about. Oh, you true. didn't tell me. He wanted you to know that He's he is upgrading you today. That he is elevating you in this area. And that that thing has been removed. And you will walk forth in, in, uh, in freedom in your mind. In Jesus' name. Pastor, I want you to, or Papa, I want you guys to, uh, Grandpa, or you to pray. Pray for her. Just you're closer. You can just touch her. Just there. In the mighty name of Jesus, for this grace of influence, grace of elevation. In Jesus' mighty name. May God answer your prayers in this season, even in the season to come. Right now, may God answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Now! It's done. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, Thank you, Grandpa. the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abides in each and every one of you today, now, and forevermore in Jesus' name. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord today, now, and forevermore. I speak the hand of God to rest on you, to rest on your families, to rest on your homes, to rest on everything that you shall lay your hands upon. I declare that nothing bad shall come your way. Whatever you shall come into, God shall go into that place with you. Whatever you shall lay hands upon, the Lord shall command a blessing upon it. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed in coming in, you are blessed in going out. You are blessed to the left, right, center, you are blessed in every area of your life. You are lifted and shifted in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. When you see the way they do it, you can see it. 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 You to rest upon you. Yes. Everything that you shall do, everything that you shall think to do, there will be an elevation today in Jesus' name. I pray that God give you discernment. I pray that God give you prophetic dreams from today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Love you, man. She's in Texas. Texas in She's still in California, though. She's trying to come back. Amen. Grandpapa.